Hello. <laughs> I'm over here today. Uh, I need to start here because I want to try multi-streaming to TikTok today. And I don't know how to set that up yet. So I want to be on the screen and make sure I get that rolling before we dive in. But as soon as I do get that rolling off, we're going to be working on... Ah, Imperial Fist. So give me just a second because some of these things are things I can't test until I want to go live. So <laughs> let me get the TikTok thing started and then we will start painting. How are you guys today? What are we up to? Oh, slam, almost, almost a full hour. Thank you so much for that sub for 59 months, almost an hour. Wait, am I muted? Can anyone else hear me? Butts, hello, how are you? Not muted, okay, good, good. <laughs> I hear it all, excellent, excellent. Uh, someone else said something yesterday with Twitch. Check all your settings, give it a refresh, all that, okay. Okay, but yeah, let me get the TikTok started and then we will hop over to painting. So let me see how this works. <laughs> You guys get all of it. I guess Scott or Slam, whoever's on TikTok, if you can also check my volume when I go over there. But let me hit the go live button and just see what happens. Just gonna, just gonna experiment. <laughs> Hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> all right, auto screenshot. Oh, this is all the normal stuff. We are gaming, I suppose. Girl fist. Yep, yep, yep. Why is that my, oh, that's fine, 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 fine. What do you need from me? Oh, war hammer. <laughs> Norma, thank you so much for that sub. Give me just one moment. I'm trying to go live on TikTok and then I will bug you. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Go live. All right, it looks like we are now live on TikTok. So if anyone would like to check that out, I'm over there. I found a way to make this much easier while I'm streaming on Twitch. So if you guys want to come check out the TikTok live, you're too old for TikTok. I don't believe that. Logging in now. No, you don't have to. Uh, if anyone is on TikTok, I don't want anyone to feel like they have to like moderate over there. But let's see who we've got and then we'll go paint. So we've got, scrolling up here, we've got a Scott Mazdo, hello, Mousebait, Doran Red Eyes, welcome in. Pershore, Sly is lurking, hope you have a good rest of the day here. Ravenlord is here, I know we had a Butts, who else? We had Slam coming in with that sub. We had Norman coming in with that sub for 13 months of support. Painted so welcome in, thanks for the advice on the Salamander, I'm so glad. Is that what you were looking for? Are you happy with it now? Let's see, it's now 5 p.m., finally ready to work without any interruptions from work. I see a Scott in TikTok. It seems to be working. What's a TikTok? That's too much for my Gen X brain. That's okay. We'll be right here. TikTok volumes. Music's a little loud compared to voice. Not overpowering. Okay. I am not sure, honestly, how I can change that. I can mute. <laughs> and I can... Oh, here we go. Speakers. Bump that down a bit. Okay. I bumped it down. Hopefully that is helpful. Your audio comes through, but it takes a second for your face to catch up. That's horrifying. Okay. <laughs> Hoot, oh, Sarah, and welcome in. Sorry, we're testing some TikTok live real quick because I want to start using this more. And unfortunately, I can't do some of that until I am live. Okay, they're synced for you. Maybe it's a... Say maybe it's an internet thing. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and hop over to the regular screen. Hello everyone joining on TikTok. This is my first time in a while to stream on TikTok, so I'm trying to uh, test a couple things. But we're going to be painting some Imperial Fist, so let me uh, let me actually hop over there. How is everyone doing today? Okay, sweet. It all switched. Refresh in your sync. Cool. All right. I think we're I think we're good. I just need to remember to check TikTok chat every now and then. <laughs> oh, my camera can probably get adjusted a little bit. That's okay. For today, it'll be fine. We are working on Imperial Fist today. So we've got Repulsor. We've got the Stern Guard that I was working on a little bit last night while we were watching some X-Files. So I'm going to keep working on them. TikTok cannot see Twitch chat. No, they cannot. And that's fine. I will read out what I can. I was going to say TikTok. I do have a note saying reading chat on Twitch. So if they want to come join, they can come join us here on Twitch. Because that's going to be a lot easier going forward. So we're just going to test it out. You know, it's time for time for new things. Streaming on TikTok is one of those things. 
is that a body stuffed in the corner? You gotta do better hiding those. That's my husband. Yeah, he just he hides out back there. <laughs> We're gonna start right off on the repulsor. How are you guys today? How is the Monday Monday in chat? Hi Scott and TikTok. I see you. Hello. How we how we all doing today? I'm gonna start right in on some of the smaller stuff up top. Today I've got um, Imperial Fists, and then I've got to start some tax stuff, which I'm not excited about, but now I'm over here. <laughs> Where's Scott? <laughs> Mundane Pretty Hard Riot. I feel that. I am trying to get going here today. Back to this channel. Scott's just here to keep me on my toes. I appreciate it. <laughs> He's so fast. <laughs> Well, the best I can say is I survived. That's good. That's a good start for a Monday, I think. That's a good start. I'm trying to actually write some code since I've been slacking. Uh-oh, butt's in trouble. Ooh. Anyone else doing some hobby today or maybe later today after work? I got, if you guys want to check it out, exclamation socials. I posted one of the chaos nights this morning. I'm trying to be really good about socials. So that when I post my anime repaint, I'm good to go. You guys have probably seen me being really annoying on Twitter the next couple of days. <laughs> and then my usual shenanigans on Instagram and TikTok. But I'm trying. Trying. Unless I get shouted at. <laughs> Do a bit of a hobby uh, later on. Test model dude. I'm excited to see your colors together, Slam. I think it's going to look sick. I think it's going to look real cool. I'm a piccolo. Sorry to hear about your passing. <laughs> uh, the good news is nobody has really noticed the slacking. I'm sure you're not the only one slacking, Bunts. It's almost comforting, right? If there weren't kind of annoying at times. Kind of comforting that you might not be the only one slacking. <laughs> Raven Guard says, working on Stern Guard still. Hoping I can still get some work time uh, after the gym the next few nights. Let's go. I do have to do that today, too. Saren is painting some, ooh, some gory bits on the dire wolves. I think that's some of the, like, fun part with those types of models. So you can go, um, obviously have fun with the critter itself, but then go super gory if you want. We shall see. It's gonna be sick. Intacular, welcome in. Wasted Mind, hello. Need to prime scorpions, uh, so I can get to the devaluing. Wasted Mind, my bonkies. Pretty sure my Instagram has been blacklisted for posting Kingdom Death. Uh-oh. Did you get a... Well, I don't know. Like, Shadow Band, you mean? It's funny you say that, because Kingdom Death tends to do better for me on Instagram. It's actually really wild. The Chaos Knights are doing pretty well there, and okay on TikTok. TikTok hating the Chaos Knights. Or, I'm sorry, Twitter hating the Chaos Knights. They don't... They don't give a shit. <laughs> It's really interesting to see what takes off on different platforms. I had to look up the box art close-ups on the site to check where I should be doing the yellow. Seems pretty random. Figured I should do it the official way. It did mean I had to go back to GW site, which just makes me passively mad. Yeah, no, I agree. Jazzy, welcome in. How are you? Why do you have to scroll so much for the models page? Yeah, every time I had to go back for the um, Chaos Knights, it was really frustrating. And it so started on the other nine members of the Heresy Salamander squad. Let's go. These wolves are super neat models. Uh, there's no repeated sculpts in each kit, which kind of makes it more fun for me. Yeah, it... There is something about the batch painting that is just awful. Even just, like, a little variation really helps, doesn't it? It's kind of crazy. Twitter only cares about space marines. <laughs> After posting you, my definitely post got, like, five likes. Interesting. Last on the same stuff does better. I also post once a month. That's definitely part of it for Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram likes you posting. I think at one point, like, a creator was doing some, like, research. And they wanted you posting, like, seven times a day. <laughs> they wanted you just doing nothing but posting to Instagram. And that would give you, like, the biggest boost. Which is, even for, like, a full-time creator, that's absolutely insane. What model is this? Yeah, this is Slam's got it there. The Repulsor tank. 
So I've got a Repulsor, and then I've got some Stern Guard for the Imperial Fists. But I've decided to start with our tank today. I might be hopping back and forth here. Seven times, yeah, they wanted you doing reels and posts and posting like seven times a day. That's how you would get like the ultimate boost in the algorithm. Yeah. That was a little while back, so I don't know if it's still the same, but like I would imagine it's pretty close. I think a lot of the like gaming TikTok people say to post like three times a day. It's insane. It can be your, it can be your whole day. Uh, Scorpion XR with Biting Blade. Painting this thing is going to be more... <laughs> you block the entire chest, but not like a marine bolter does. Block it so it's almost impossible to paint, so you can easily see all the details. You're getting into all the fun there, Wasted Mind. I'm very sorry. Between the, uh, the annoying build and now that, you're just having a heck of a time already. That's a lot, yeah. Seven times a day, seven days a week, 365 a year. That is your Instagram posting schedule. <laughs> if I did my cats, that'd be doable. I'd have to do like a whip photo of every step. Every single thing I do would have to be a post. <laughs> Sounds like hell yeah, a little bit. You can set up TikTok polls. Go for it. I don't know what you would poll, but go for it. You're going to clean with this model. You're planning to weather. We're going to stick clean with this. So this is matching some other Imperial Fists we've done before. And those tanks are pretty clean. They are on my Instagram if you wanted to check those out. So they'll, they'll stay clean. I tend to not do a whole lot of weathering. I tend to do like a little bit maybe. But most of my stuff I keep pretty clean. Bees, welcome in. How are you? Supposed to whip at the top of every hour, right? We have to. That's how we do it. I have to. Who is winning Sunday paint? When I checked earlier, it was tied. So, chat, if there is a model you want to see for sub Sunday, make sure you vote today. Exclamation vote. Whoever's on the uh, in the lead here at the end of stream is what I get prepped here later this week. So make sure you vote. I'm not going to say which ones. I don't want to skew the voting, but two of them were tied when I checked earlier. I don't want to skew it. Just saw there's an option for mods over there. Ah, oh, okay. Well, welcome in everyone from TikTok. This is my first TikTok live in a little while. I'm also streaming over on Twitch if you want to see all of the chat that I am reading out loud. We're over on Twitch. The link is in my bio. But we're working on a Primaris Repulsor. This is for the Imperial Fists. We started this the other week on Twitch, and I'm just kind of getting back to it today. So we've got, here is the tank. I've also got some Stern Guard. Um, we worked on some Terminators before. Let me show some of the other fists. These are the new Terminators. And then the new Apothecary, which I really love. So there are some more of the Imperial Fists. But yeah, I am reading Twitch, or I'm sorry, I'm reading chat over on Twitch if you'd like to come join us. Come hobby with us. But I can't see, uh, I can't see chat. Well, hello, hello. Welcome in. Oh, Mouse Bait, thank you so much for those gifted subs. Those are going out to Bloody Mary, Arctic Edge, Arlia, the sneaker, and old rusty boy. Enjoy those emotes. Enjoy your sub or your ad free viewing. Enjoy those subs from mouse bait. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Do it, skew it. <laughs> okay, the vote is down to Gorm and the Watcher. That's all we have left. There's no Ludba on that list. We need to get back to our other lady. And then I'll add Ludba back in. Wasteland Ranger, welcome in. How are you? Holy heck, some of those are absolutely unhinged. Kingdom Death's great. I love, I love Kingdom Death. <laughs> White hats with the yellow armor looks great. I really like how it looks. So that and the Terminators have the, the white. They look so good. Was it? Ugh. Okay. So gifted subs loud. Regular subs, I can't hear. <laughs> good to know. Okay. That helps me troubleshoot for later. Sorry it was loud. I can't seem to get alerts to just be the same noise. <laughs> Across the board. We'll get there. You don't think you heard? So I heard it. It wasn't super loud for me, but I heard it. Whereas some of the others, I don't hear at all. Like yesterday, there were some that straight up I didn't hear. All right. Well, I guess that's today's project. Little bit by little bit, we're getting the stream together here. I did move. We have timers now on the bot, so it'll start shouting out my 
uh, socials and stuff, so that's exciting. I fixed the birthday command because that was very important. I heard it quite late, but it was there. Okay. It's going back and forth. I get an impulsor or a repulsor. Oh, for the Crimson Fists. Yeah, I don't know what the better option is. I have the... I don't have either for my wolf. Sorry, I'm thinking the gladiator. It hurt you, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, for those who are hanging out on TikTok, what are we working on today? Do we have any projects? These things have a couple controls. Oh, the new headset? I see. I see. I, I have the same thing, mouse weight, or if I try and test things with headsets. So like my YouTube videos. If I do any of my audio testing on a headset, it'll sound fine. And then when I go to speakers, it's quiet again. So I never know what to test on, and it's really frustrating. Alp, <laughs> it's gym day. Uh-oh, have we already had gym? Or are we going to gym? Just because of time zones. I don't know where, uh, where your schedule's at. Well, Dresty Boy, welcome in. Enjoy the sub. Hope you're having a good day. We're just working on a repulsor. This is part of a larger Imperial Fist army that we've got. So we've got some Terminators. We got some Stern Guard. Repulsor. We have some of the new dreadnoughts. I don't have them here with me right now. But... This is a commission. Yep. So this is for uh, Alive and Madness, who is now making me drink more water. <laughs> But this is for live events in chat. So we've done a couple rounds already of this army, and this is our next one. Let me get my water. Live Madness, how are you? Chug, chug, chug. I know. Thank you for hydrating, Strimmer. Runon, welcome in. How are you? I haven't done the, the Twitch ritual. Hopefully I can get them updated here, Slam. Is this a sound stump? But I was found listening to a mix in the car revealed the flaws the best. That makes sense. I could see that. I could see that. I'm doing well, Live Madness. We are working on your tank. We are trying TikTok Live this morning. So I found a way to do that easier with the simulcasting. So giving that a shot seems to be going well so far. Nothing's exploded, so that's good. Or bad, depending on. Viewpoint, I guess. And don't die on us paint them seven legion boys. I know, they gotta get painted. We have these and some chaos knights. I gotta finish. Not bad on lunch right now. Enjoy your lunch. You've been bad about hydration too? Well, but every time I have to take a drink. Don't take a drink with me. Live well, madness will keep us on track. <laughs> oh, thank you. Welcome in. How are you? DJ Premier always tried out songs in his car before giving them the final stamp of approval. I love that. I mean, it makes sense. All right, next time I record a YouTube video, go listen to it in the car. <laughs> oh. um, some good advice here in the chat. Take it out to the car. I have 180k points, and you look thirsty. <laughs> yeah, like man is like, you're already working on the project I would pick, so... Uh... Bottoms up. <laughs> Hopefully I can find some more fun things to do with the points. I've been kind of looking around. It's just been... We've just been making a lot of changes, so I haven't gotten to back to that just yet. Is that how it works? For the, uh, for the big one. The big point total there, yeah. You get to pick the project I work on. So if you hadn't seen, there is a new channel point that's essentially a sub Sunday. You can unlock yourself and tell me what to paint. It's a lot of points, but it's there. Avian, hello, how are you? What you up to today? Chat is super helpful, it's true. Big truth. You guys bail me out of a lot of stuff. <laughs> bail me out of a lot of stuff. You wanted to bang when you're in the whip, that's right. Even YouTube painting videos, that's right. <laughs> Oh, my cats leave me alone until Nikki comes online. Check the pup pics later. Oh, we have friends again. That makes me feel good that I 
I'm just a Disney princess attracting the animals. That makes me feel special. If I save 300,000, I can leap my project in front of our Gilera Felthone. It's like the whole project. I meant a manager. <laughs> and it's from my backlog. <laughs> So if you wanted me to work on, let's say, Gorm doesn't win, and you wanted me to work on Gorm, I would have to work on Gorm next. That's how that would work. It is a lot of points. Uh, so, subs, you get channel points faster, so you'll get more. But yeah, if there's something you just... Nikki has to paint this right now. An option. I even ch yeah, I checked with Scott to see how many points he had before I did it. <laughs> I just love that her points are Bork's, Bork's rule. <laughs> I'm glad it finally saved. Twitch didn't want to save that for the longest time. Every time I would log in, they're like, you should customize your points. And I'm like, I already have 10 times. <laughs> Please save my stuff. <laughs> Spending 2k per day with Nikki's hours makes it hard. That's the, uh, we'll get it figured out. Promise. I would still like to come back to Wednesday streams once we get more YouTube up and running. So don't think I've given up on Wednesday streams. It's just right now the YouTube days are much more useful. Wasn't a complaint. It's good feedback, though. Thank you. We need that. And we need... There's Warp Stone. It was upside down. <laughs> I was gonna say, no, no. It's, uh, we're trying a lot of new stuff. Some things we will like, some things we won't. And that's okay. Let me know. I think if you're a regular here in my chat, I absolutely want to know what you think. So. A lot of this I have to figure out myself, so. <laughs> if there's something we like, cool. Something we don't, also cool. We were discussing this weekend how David Tennant is a Disney princess. Now the Doctor Who, who is on Disney Plus. I think we learned that X Files also is on Disney Plus, which makes Mulder a uh, Disney princess, which I like. Poor Scott just has his horseman finished. <laughs> he is. Uh, we're getting close. I need to get the base all wrapped up here, and then that one little spot where there's just a lot of overlapping. Once I figure that out, we're good. Nikki streaming, learning how to sculpt on Wednesdays. I think Wednesdays would come back to, like, the wild Wednesdays, so we can do, like, we could do scuff emotes, we could do video games, maybe some sculpting, anything like that. David Tennant's also a robot on Disney, so he's a droid princess? He, they're just all the princesses, chat. All of them. Alright, let's go ahead and start some of the lenses and stuff here. Did want to say hi again to everyone over on TikTok. Hello. This is my first TikTok stream in a while. But we are live over on Twitch. That is the chat that I am reading. If you'd like to come join us, the link is in the bio. Otherwise, I'll be here painting our repulsor tank. I can't see chat. It's just uh, getting into the habit of looking over there. But welcome on in. If you're working on anything, we'd love to hear about it. Disney slash fiction just getting better and better. <laughs> Uh, has anyone had more lives bubble up on their TikTok recently? I'm trying to think if it's been more or about the same. I feel like mine's been about the same. I mean, I hope so, since we're now live. I hope more are popping. <laughs> I'll take more and more Warhammer friends. Yeah, I'll take more Warhammer friends. Uh, I binged Ahsoka recently. Was not bad. I feel like I heard mixed on that one. I've, uh, I've not actually watched it. I have learned that a lot of that is just not for me, and that's okay. We started watching a super cute anime last night. It's called A Sign of Affection, and it is a... Oh, it's college age. Um, she is deaf and uses sign language. And there is a very sweet guy who is learning sign language with her. 
and it's very cute. If you guys need a little sappy romance anime, super duper recommend. It was adorable. Super duper adorable. Not just every third video is a stupid TikTok shop video. They are pushing that so hard. They keep telling me to. <laughs> it's like, did you know you can do such and such? I'm like, I don't sell Warhammer. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I get it, TikTok. I just, I don't have that. And it's freaking incredible if you haven't seen that. It starts slow, but it's so good. That's the one, like, across the board I've heard is good. Like, if I were to watch any of them, that would be on the list. Like, I, I'd give that one a try, if anything. I, started, <laughs> I thought about that too, Slam. There's masochist. What if we had to animate hands? Famously difficult, but for all the episode in complex ways. It's actually really cute. I'm going to give, like, a, I guess, a tiny spoiler warning. She decides, in order to help teach, to draw some of the things so that he can, like, study it. And it's like, oh gosh, she's having to draw hands. <laughs> So now the, the animators are, like, drawing her drawing hands, and it was really cute. <laughs> so tiny spoiler there, but it's really, it'll still be cute. <laughs> you can just have TikTok dropship random BS from your TikTok shop? That's true, I, I should get on this. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I don't know, it's very, TikTok's a little wild right now. It is wild. Hey Decker, welcome in. How are you? Tongsko Burr, indeed. How are you? We've got Tonk and Sternguard that we may swap between. We'll see how it goes today. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Is anyone else watching anything? Not necessarily anime, but are we watching anything good? I am still continuing One Piece. We are still cruising on X Files. We're getting close to the end of season four, so we're, we're cruising along. Um, what else? New anime was cute. I'm trying to decide if I go back and watch solo leveling or not. I don't know. It didn't grab me the way I thought it would. Maybe I just wait till it's done and binge through it. It's fine. It's fine. You are watching solo leveling. Demon Slayer, Rising of Shield here are nice. Waiting for next Demon Slayer. Stern Guard never stay in stock at my shop. They're gone the day after I see. Chad's watching paint dry, and it's great. I'm so glad. Thanks for watching paint dry. I've been watching, re-watching Blue Nerd's Minecraft series for building. No, I want to play Minecraft back on the Minecraft. Let's see. Norman says, on Saturday, we had three small, we had a small three-game tournament locally. Worst side is 8-12 against Grey Knights. Uh, second game was 13-7 against Chaos Marines. Uh, famous scaring of enemy, boss them in deployment zone with kaiju combat. The third game was 20-0 against Tau, who struggled to shoot off singular units off the board. Oof. And that's what they need to be doing, too. For, for poor Tau. That's pretty nuts. It's so cute, though, Avian. If you need a, if you need a cute romance, it's cute. I think I'm watching mostly YouTube and Twitch. Last series I watched was Blue-Eyed Samurai. Hey, Gareth, yeah, welcome in. I don't discuss my painting setup here on stream, but how are you? We're working on a repulsor tank right now. I am working on the lenses. What are you up to? Madison, hello, how are you? We are trying to get the next round of these Imperial Fists all together. Um, this week, my plan for the Imperial Fists are these two here, so the Stern Guard and the Tank. I need to get the basing done on the Tech Marine. That's really close. Basing for these. Uh, I feel like I should pick like one more thing. I'm not sure what that would be just yet. That's the plan. You weren't a good enough bully yesterday, so I ordered the strip off. <laughs> My bad. I'll try harder next time. But it sounded really good to me. <laughs> it sounded really good. Yeah, laser sensors, whatever they are. We're painting them. 
They tend to match the marine lenses, is why I call them that. They're like little... Yeah, I don't know. Sensors. <sighs> Incapable of pulling people out of stroop waffle. <laughs> It sounded good, though. I'm gonna put them on my throne now. <laughs> Sadie's being a butt. Sadie was doing the annoying thing where she, like, she wanted to play, but then she wouldn't go get her toy. So you would, like, throw the toy, and then she'd be like, mm, I don't know about that. So then you try again. She'd maybe catch it one time, and then she's just like, mm, I'm not interested in that. Like, what do you want? <laughs> I'm trying to play with you. Just being a butt. Ghostbox, welcome in. How are you today? We could have Stroopawful mornings instead of Wasabi Kit Kats. We could. <laughs> we sure good. That does sound a little nicer, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry you had Wasabi. You had some strange flavors in yours. I think I made it out pretty easy. <laughs> I made it out pretty easy. She's being a butt. She's just low growling. Yeah, she has this like, it's almost like a purr, but she just growls. Just everything. Just, uh, she'll just lay there and uh, <laughs> I can hear you. Oh no, you're sick of being sick. I hate that feeling. I'm sorry. Are we feeling any better or is it basically the same ghost box? Have we made progress on the sick? Oop. Does she know how to play fetch or just want to play? Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. She does fetch. She will fetch, but it's not every time. <laughs> Let's see. Could be worse. The door person has a basset hound that is deaf. Lo loves to loaf on her. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot for on. One of my dogs loves playing fetch in the house. If you throw it too quick when she's looking the wrong way, she gets very confused. I did that to Sadie last night on accident. She had, like, turned to, to look as I threw. And it was very confusing. It's been a week's ups and downs. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I hope everything gets better here soon. I hope that you're feeling better. I get, th I don't normally get sick, but I definitely have that moment if there's like a day or two of it where I just like have a little bit of a breakdown. Where I was like, I'm tired of feeling this way. <laughs> I get like really frustrated by it. <laughs> I don't know if I just got a four month old German Shepherd. So much cute. Oh my gosh. The little ears. Oh, little floppy ears when they're that age. So adorable. I've got a toy poodle and a mini poodle. Both are more puppy like as they age. Like they started really mellow, barely playing at toys. Now they're 12 years old and they play nonstop. <laughs> you have Benjamin Button dogs. <laughs> That's really cute. I love that. My mom's dog is 12. She's a little papillon. And she loves to play. She's got this little, like... Yes, it's a plastic ball about, like, this big. And it's like a basketball. But that thing has been destroyed. So, like, it's kind of split in half. She's already taken the, like, squeaker out of it. But it's her favorite, so she still has it. And it's really cute because she can't hear the ball hit, like, the floor anymore. <laughs> You have to be very deliberate in, like, when you throw it so she can see it. <laughs> she still loves to play. It's really cute. She's a gremlin, yeah. Everyone in our house has a scratchy throat and tired, but not full-on sick, which is worse in some ways. Everyone take care of yourself. Sounds like we could all hydrate. Do you have a yard? Oh, we do have a herding ball now. The only thing is, she loves the herding ball so much that she gets a little obsessive over it. And I think we gotta figure out how to curb that a little bit. <laughs> she's, she's becoming very obsessive with it. I don't super love. But she, she loves that thing. And the only thing that was kind of tough is because it has the, like, canvas covering on it, 
Um, it was tearing up the bottom of her lip because that's where she was hitting it. I heard it. So we've got to keep an eye on her when she does play with it. So she doesn't just destroy her lip. <laughs> Poor baby, I know. And she keeps wanting to play with it is the hard part. So like, it's tearing up her little lip, but she still wants to play with it. <laughs> So we had to like put it away for a week or two and just be like, no, you have to, you have to heal your little lip first and then we'll see. Oh, you're getting a palm ski this year. Oh my goodness. I'm excited for you. So cute. So cute. Another ball. So she has a soccer ball, which is what we kind of switched to. Um, so she likes to herd that around as well. But yeah, the big one, unfortunately. Cut. Close my brush. The big one, though. I have to keep an eye on her. I don't know if it's a... She has to build, like... I hate to say, like, a callus, but kind of. See if that's what she needs to do, or... What's a herding ball? So it's a larger ball. Yeah, the one we have is called a collie ball. I don't know if there are more of them. But essentially what it is is it's an inflatable ball. Like a regular... Like those cheap ones you find at, like, at Walmart. But, like, a more heavy-duty one. And then that is inside of a larger, like, canvas one that's a little bit more durable so that they can just keep herding it back and forth in the backyard without it getting destroyed or deflated or anything like that. But it's also a little bit bigger. So for the herding breeds, they love it. Mikey, welcome in. Always more Imperial Fists. How are you? How was weekend? We've got our repulsor back today. And then I've also got some Stern Guard that we may switch to. We'll see how today goes. Yeah, we have some options. Got stuff we need to finish. What are you up to? We expect the Crute box. Oh, we uh, we have new Crute Hounds to look at. You guys want to take a look at those real quick? Real quick. I swear I can speak. Work, work, and more work. Well, I hope it's going well. I hope that also means monies. Extra work hopefully means more monies. You get a herding dog. Make them herd the cats. They will herd the cats and you and the boys. And <laughs> one of my favorite stories to tell is I had a Sheltie growing up as well. And my mom would call for dinner and come. And my dog would come round my brother and I up. To make sure we come get dinner. It was the cutest thing. Loved it. New Crute Doggos. Let me finish these last couple lenses and we'll hop over there and take a look. Uh, the other thing I saw. If anyone is interested in that art of the Horus Heresy, that's another limited book. I think it was 6,500 copies. I saw Twitter getting very upset right before we went live. <laughs> Look at the dogs like you get dinner when they're at the table. That's right. Go get them. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at the new little crew town. Take a little break here. So it's a good stopping point. Also means I can test the TikTok. Okay, it did work. Cool. So let me get set up for like a crew. Wait, I'm not in studio mode. I had to do, <laughs> when I'm in studio mode, I essentially have a preview of the scene I'm on, the one I'm about to go to. I also have the vertical, and now I have TikTok chat. It's so much stuff. I'm going to need a wide monitor here. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Window capture. But on the right scene. Oh, well, that's why. And so I tried to put the, hold on, chat. It didn't save my thing from earlier is why it goofed up. I had it all set up early and it didn't save it. That's oh, right, you got Nickyception for a second, sorry. <laughs> all right, let's make sure this works here. There we go, that's what I wanted. That's what I had set up. <laughs> all right, double check TikTok, cool. Looks good on TikTok, sick. Reveal the hounds. We've caught the scent of the new crew hounds. 
Uh, when the Tau first Tau Empire Codex launched back in 2001, ranks of Fire Warriors and Crisis Battlesuits were joined by the Krut Auxiliaries we know and love. But of the three original units, we're missing one from the upcoming wave of updated Krut. So far, we've seen some excellent Krut carnivores, two kinds of Krutox, new versions of the classic Shaper, now promoted to full character status. And now we've got Krut Hounds. Look at these cuties. <laughs> Good lord, that long ago. You didn't think we'd leave the loyal hounds behind, did you? This pack of crew hounds have slipped their collars to tear it across the battlefield, snapping beak-like jaws and shredding unfortunate prey with razor-sharp claws. We lost saw them join the Farstalker Kin Band Kill Team. Now the rest of the pack have the same glow-up, just without the snazzy leather harnesses. Hunting packs of crew hounds are... Crew hounds <laughs> are unleashed to savage exposed flanks and chase down fleeing foes, driven to a frenzy by the scent of blood. Their incredible speed can punch through enemy lines to catch vulnerable targets, especially when goaded by an attendant squad of Kroot carnivores. There are the... yeah, the Kroot towns. <laughs> there they are. They've been beefed up. I kind of forgot they were in that other kill team, if I'm honest. Because I tried to find the old Kroot earlier to, like, compare. And I was like, oh wait, there's already some. But comparing to, like, the Finecast ones, these are quite a bit beefier. Was it just one? Okay. I wasn't sure. These are these are much beefier than the uh the fine cast ones for sure. I'm on the fence about the crew. I got into town because of the mech feel. I like the high tech look, feel the faction. No cruder scrape or cheap screening units would prevent the squishies from dying to melee pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Let's see, we have a loping pounce ability, grants an extra burst of speed by allowing charges after they advance. At their absolute limit, a pack of these hounds can rocket forwards up to 30 inches in a single turn. In turn of speed, some aircraft struggle to match. They're even handy capturing objectives. The hunting hounds ability umps their OC characteristic to one. When accompanied by a character. Now, if only there was a crude character who could keep up with them. We've got more to reveal from everyone's favorite alien auxiliary, so don't go anywhere. If you do, we'll have to send the crude after you. You've been warned. <laughs> the kill team had two of them? Okay. So more of... The new crew towns. I think, they, I think they look nice. I'm also not a big, I'm not a big towel person, I'm not a big crew person, but they do look nice. I'm glad they, they're a little beefier now. Having painted both old and new, I like the look of the old ones. Wait, what are we talking about? Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is the US events article. Guess how much the two day seminar is? Thousand dollars. Goodness. Rats, welcome in. How are you? Scorch Panda, hello. I like my towel. I do not like the croup. That's fair. <laughs> they do look like the great or goodest of boys. <laughs> I like it. Well, uh, that's what we got. We also, yeah, we have the events. Um, I'm afraid to do anything now after I Nikki sectioned you all. <laughs> all right. Uh, open seat. Announcing the 2024 U.S. Open Series, the World Championships of Warhammer. Each stop on the U.S. Open Series is a weekend packed full of Warhammer games in a tournament setting. This year, the roadshow will be heading to Dallas, Texas, Tacoma, Washington, Tampa, Florida, and Atlanta, Georgia. To host the grand narrative and finals of the World Championships of Warhammer, bringing together qualified players from amazing independent events around the world. These have all had ones before, right? These are all like similar locations, right? I think there was one in the Midwest they they killed off. Mystery guest painter. So I don't know who it's going to be. That's a weird way to promote that. <laughs> I was going to say Austin, but it was Texas. I know there was one in the Washington area. Was there Chicago? That's right. There was Chicago. Yeah, I think Atlanta was last year. Okay. Uh, every event will host tournaments for Warhammer 40k, Age of Sigmar, Kill Team, Underworlds, and Blood Bowl. Organized play and offer for Imperialis and more at certain events. We've also got a traveling events store featuring a massive range of Warhammer items, including Forge World, resin expert kits, and ex event exclusive swag, such as faction objective mats, users incredible commemorative series event miniatures. Tickets go on sale Saturday if you want to check those out. So here is... Dallas in May, Tacoma July, Tampa in October, and Atlanta in November. 
Uh, just catching up. See if there's anything else in here. I'm just doing the slow scroll. All right, there is. Okay, so Golden Demon, yeah. USA at Adepticon and then Germany. So nothing for UK. There's no Warhammer Fest on the calendar, but Golden Demon is still appearing in Europe. The second half of the world's premier painting competition will be held at Spiel at an Essen, Germany, for the, this year for the first time. Interesting. So yeah, no UK, no Warhammer Fest on the calendar. I wonder if, with, um, just because the last one did not go super great, <laughs> if they're looking for a new venue or something. <laughs> Before uh, announcing more Warhammer Fest. There's been a lot of discussion about the lack of war. I wonder if they're just trying to find something that'll... They obviously need something bigger. So if they're just trying to get that figured out, they can't announce anything just yet. As much of a pain as to take public transport to Deptagon. I don't miss having a park. That's fair. All right. Well, there's the, uh, the news we got today. Okay. Hold on, chat. We're still in studio mode. Let me make sure I do this right. <laughs> This is very confusing with so many things on my screen, but we'll we'll get there. Okay, so we transition. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna now I'm gonna keep studio mode. I'm gonna get used to it. It's just very small right now. <laughs> it's very small. This year hotel is further away. Oh, I'm not sure three miles. That's a lot, especially with stuff, Mouse Um, I'm sure between all of us we can get something figured out though. That's a lot. All right. For anyone who may be hopping in, we are working on Repulsor Tank. We've also got some Stern Guard we could possibly work on. But for now, we're focusing Tank down. Uh, we are streaming. We're simulcasting over on TikTok. Giving that a try today. So thank you, everyone, joining over on TikTok. Hope you're having a good day. I can see chat today. So if you uh, want to hop in and let us know what you're working on, I can see that. Otherwise, I'm going to keep cruising on this tank. So welcome in. It is repulsing. Airbry, what you up to today? Let me know what you're bringing if you're further away. Yeah. Do, I guess we could always figure out if someone else is over in that area. I guess can do the whole shuttling, carpooling thing too. Potentially. Tadpole, welcome in. How are you? I bought a new rolly cart, so I'm going to try hard to keep it in there in my backpack. That's a good plan. Those rolly carts are great. We ended up getting one for when Scott has events. And it's super helpful. Worst case, I'll drop the boy off with all our stuff. That's, yeah, you could do that too. That makes sense. Tadpole, what you up to? It's good to see ya. We're working on a tank today. Trying to get used to uh, having so much stuff on my screen. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll see how TikTok does. I know that some of the gaming streamers have had really good um, luck with it. I don't know for miniatures how well it works, how much growth we'll get, but it's worth trying. They have some weird kind of requirements, too, that, like, once you get permission, essentially, to start streaming, you have to do it so often. So we will do it again tomorrow to, like, keep our, our thing to keep trying it. But from there, we can kind of decide. The overflow parking was not bad. Once I found it was overflow parking. Yeah, once you figure out where all that is, I'm sure it's better. Because that's the one with the shuttle, right? Hey, Manja Barnes, welcome in. I thought this tank looked done the last time. Oh, no, we got, we got a fair amount left. How are you? <laughs> so we do have two tanks that may also be part of it. So we have the Gladiator and the Repulsor. So you may have also joined us on the other tank. <laughs> What'd you up to today? That one is a little closer to done, yeah. We still have some work to do, but it is closer. Isn't this like the 10th tank for this army? This is... Four? Four or five? I think we had two 
repulsors in the last wave. Or the first wave? And now these. Overflow is opposite to the convention center. In walking distance. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think last year we super lucked out. And then we didn't move because we were staying in the hotel. We didn't go out and, like, do a whole lot other than, like, I think the last day we went out for, like, to grab some dinner. Otherwise, we just stayed in. So trying to learn the rules before I buy into an army. Ooh, so much to learn. It is a lot. Warhammer is, uh... I don't think it's super beginner friendly. I think they make it kind of hard to really dive in between having to know core rules, your army rules, everyone else's army rules. It's uh, it's not super beginner friendly. If there's anything we can help with, let us know though. It is it is a lot though. Completely understand. I left before people arrived. Got back after people left. For the tournament. Yeah, if you can kind of plan when you're leaving or coming back around. When people won't be in the parking lot. <laughs> that definitely helps. If you're trying to leave when no one else is leaving, then it turns into a bit of a nightmare. And then I have to convince my wife to play. And then you have to, you know, teach all the rules you've now learned. <laughs> it is It is a process, for sure. But if we can help, let us know. What else you been up to? Still working on hubby? That's not sweet. Everyone trying to get spouses into, into Warhammer. After 6 p.m. starts clearing up, yeah. When kind of the, the people that are there for the day decide to head out for dinner or head back home. It tends to get a little easier. Has anyone been able to play some tabletop here lately? Have we been either Warhammer, other games, D&D? &D? What have we got, chat? What have we been playing? Wasn't Scott 18? I don't know. Ask Scott. He's, uh, he is in the chat. <laughs> I don't know. My game plan is raising a kid who will play games with me. The long con, but it's starting to pan out. I mean, what did we think of HeroQuest? I know you said she got a little flustered with combat. But what did we what did we think? Maybe playing some more Hero Quest? He working? He's right there. <laughs> I, I don't know the answer. I can say that for Adepticon, Scott and I are just winging it. If there is time and people want to play games, we'll play games. If there's not, or people want to do other things, we will do other things. Oh. Unless you mean before Adepticon, in which case I don't know. Uh, Noob has offered to play Titanicus with us. We just haven't set up a time yet. Mostly because d and on Saturdays and... Takes up, takes up a good part of our weekend. Hey Griffith, welcome in. Try the first mission of the new Parade Nexus Crusade on Saturday. What did we think? I've heard the Crusade stuff is fun. I haven't actually played it myself, but I've heard it is a good time. She was ready to play another round, but she kept trying to find ways to stay out of combat. What? Yeah, that's like the gameplay for Hero Quest. <laughs> Unfortunately for many butts, it is it is not D and D. Yeah, even D and D, you can't always avoid it. So can I get wrecked by in Middle Earth? I don't know what we're bringing this year. I know we're going to try and stick to just one bag of stuff, because I don't, we don't want to bring a bunch of stuff again. Haven't planned that far ahead yet. Spartan, welcome in. How are you today? We are working on a repulsor tank. How are you?
Trying to get some of our hand details here after airbrushing. We already did the edge highlighting, which is good. We have a little bit. I can see that I need to go back for it, but a lot of it is done, which is great. They're creative, but the deployment zones, oh, are really lopsided. More narrative. I'd like to bring the smaller bag. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Titanius might make that tough. I say, if we have other Titanicus people, maybe we just watch them. <laughs> Or steal their knight. But yeah, I don't want to take as much stuff as well. There's going to be one year where we just say F it and we just hop on a plane and take a tiny bag and that's it. <laughs> I'm getting close to that. Right? I don't want to bring anything. It's just kind of a pain. I want to play games, but man, packing it all up is a pain. Anyone else just sit in their hobby room area and just stare at the desk? I did that yesterday for a bit because I couldn't decide what to do. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. I get that when I, like, finish commission work for the day and I'm like, you know what? I'm still kind of, like, fidgety. I still want to work on something. But what? Avian says, I'm having issues with crackling per acryl coal black. The white paint crackled. When I got glue on top of that after doing the green, no crackle. I don't know. What are you... This is the base paint? You're using a base texture, right? I'll bring my Titania stuff if anyone wants to borrow. I have no problem with that. Miles aren't problem overall. For me, it's all the books. I need to play the games. Yeah, that's the... It just all adds up so fast. It's like, if I bring this, then I also have to bring this. And then I also have to have this. And it's just... It's just kind of a pain. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> You're bringing biscuits, Exalted? Welcome in. How are you? All right. We've got Titanicus, Lockdown, Biscuits, Lockdown. What you up to today? Yeah, we're, uh, if you guys are planning for Adepticon, we do have our event thread in the Discord. That's what we have been using to plan what we're bringing. So if you guys want to post in there, get things figured out, make sure to check the Discord for that. For basing. Why are... Okay, hold on. How are you using the coal black to crackle, then? I'm confused. What are we doing here? Are we mixing it in? Tell me the process. <laughs> Got a couple extra Titanicus books I'm going to cut up, put in a binder when I have time. Let's see, I have Middle Earth Strategy Battle game. Don't think we're bringing it. Malifone Bushido on the tablet. It cuts down a lot of books. All right, paint it so. Has me hydrating. Hold on. Chat, reminder, self care check. If you've not eaten today, get some water. Check your meds. Do the things. Elmer's goes on the base, wait for it to dry, then apply cold black. Okay. Yep. And then the crackle over that, right? So the cold black comes up through the crackle. Or is visible through the crackle. Then to get a tablet, but don't know how often I'd use it. I have one. And I don't know. I think I got it thinking I would read on it more, but it's so heavy that I don't. <laughs> so I use it for D&D, &D, and then, yeah, when we do, like, Malifaux and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know that I would. I don't use it the way I thought I would. I actually considered getting one of the Kindles because they're so much lighter for, like, actual reading. Don't I eat foods? Yes. Reminder. <laughs> hey, Black Knight Raven. Welcome in. Are the Empirophists yours are a commission? These are a commission. These are for a life in madness in chat. Um, I do have my own space marines. I've got space wolves. But these are a commission. Welcome on in. How are you today? Is there anything you're working on? 
Uh, it's worth it. They're fairly cheap, too. I feel a lot of game systems usually. Yeah, if you're doing a lot of... Like, if you can throw those heresy books or whatever else on there. So you're not having to lug them around. It may absolutely be worth it for you. First attempt was glue and then white paint. The white paint cracked. I thought the glue again... Yeah, the paint itself shouldn't crack. Normally you would do a an undercoat just so that that comes through the crackle paint. So whatever crackle paint you're using on top of it, you would get the you would get the coal black, the crackle and then paint whatever is actually crackling. Frozen Wolf, hello. How are you? I have a paint question. I saw one of your VODs painting in Pearl Fist. When you did the panel lining, it just set the recesses. No problems and overspill. Using a thinned out black or null oil. I usually just use null oil. Yep. So uh, sometimes I will swap and I'll do like Rhinox Hide is one you'll see me do a lot. For the Imperial Fist, that should just be null oil. Yep. And with that, um, I actually use a brush with a little bit more of a body so you can keep some of the wash and a little bit of water in it. If you do want some more control, if you don't like how the wash is drying, then switch to the paint. Yeah. See, how me burn out at the moment? So I'm on break for a while. Be back at it soon enough, though. What were you working on before that? I, I understand that, though. Burnout is, is rough. I had it for a long time with my Tyranids, and it's, it is difficult to come back. But hopefully here soon. How is Infinite Wealth? Very good. I am uh, playing in kind of chunks in the evenings, and it's... Yakuza is just that series that... No matter where I'm at, I can sit and enjoy Yakuza. <laughs> it's like the one series that like, I just keep going back and really love. So I'm taking my time with it. I'm enjoying a lot of the like side stuff as I go. It's, it's really good. Andy the Brushsmith, hello! Drop by to say hi. Hope you're doing well. I'm good. How are you? It's good to see ya. Thanks for coming to check out the live. We are working on a repulsor today. So I've got our tank. I've also got, oops, <laughs> got some stern guard. We have uh, the new terminators I was also working on. Those are really nice. But yeah, just kind of a wave of imperial fists. How are you? Taking my time 70 hours in. Yeah, like it's, it's going to be a big game. I'll just. I'll just play it in chunks here. <laughs> Doing okay, Frozen Wolf? I'm good. We're just trying to get this Monday going. Let's see. Black Knight says, AK, ah, oh, you have the Dark Krakens, the Salamander successors. Yes. When that book came out, so many people were talking about. <laughs> they were just so cool looking. That's a that's a lot of a lot of salamanders, though. 8K worth? That's yeah. Almost makes it easy to clean a base. Knife strips it off easily. It is nice that it all comes off in like a sheet. But yeah, usually the actual crackling will be the, the texture paste itself. It won't be the paint. It'll be the whatever texture you're using. So I don't know if that helps. I always get stuck playing the mini games in Yakuza. I played the slot cars in zeros for four hours once. Yep. It's easy to do. I think the really cool part of like their mini games is like just how much effort they put into them, too. Like, it's always completely new things and, like, new characters and stuff you're talking to. Like, it's all... It's all in there. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. I won't spoil anything, but the new one has even more, like, involved minigames. It's, uh, it's crazy. Well, that's all I'll say. I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, it's been good. So I'll keep, I'll keep cruising on that kind of in the evenings. You can pay extra to get the correct color crackling stuff. I don't think it's worth it. It tends to be limited colors. You tend to have to work up, like, the paint anyway. So, like, I picked one up for when you do, like, lava bases. Just to give that, like, first initial coat. But then, yeah, you've got to work it up anyways, so... Meeting time sounds good, Panda. We'll be here. Let's see. Let me do let me do the streamer things here. We do have a new video up on YouTube. 
on Wednesday. That is going to be my first anime repaint. So if you guys want to follow along with my repaint adventure, that'll be on Wednesday. I'm pretty excited about it. I've definitely learned a lot, like, YouTube-wise doing it, so that was good, too. But that'll be up on Wednesday. Um, what else have I got? We are simulcasting to TikTok today, so thank you everyone over on TikTok for coming to check us out. Uh, the chat that I am reading is over on Twitch, which if you want to come join us, that's in my bio. Otherwise, I'll keep working here on the Repulsor. And I think that's all I got. I kept working on the bot yesterday, so that's coming along. We're getting there. Spring cleaning for stream is uh, coming along. It's a lava style, but green instead, instead of red. Interesting. So wait, what's the green then? What are we, what we got, Avian? Tell me more about those green. I have about 13.6k in total. But I did a bunch of infantry, Sokar, and Mastodon, which have now been legend, but fun for unofficial matches. I actually finished a Salamander Mastodon right before I went to Legends, and I was so sad. <laughs> we have a... Uh, I have several projects that ended up in Legends, like right after. Uh, we worked on a Fire Raptor, also now in Legends. It's just... It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I'm sorry you have the same. We finish it this week because it's going to play some Persona as well. Yeah, that's the... The backlog never ends. I have it downloaded on my handheld too, at some point. I think as long as I can finish it before whatever Elden Ring DLC we're getting, I'll be okay. Persona can wait a little bit. I still want to play it, but I can wait a tiny bit. As long as it's done before Elden Ring, I'll, I'll be alright. <laughs> Jesse says, I need to sleep more and play less pirates. Do we need to give you a bedtime? I'm going to set an alarm for Jesse. Green is my headcanon on what Phosphex would look like. My Alpha Legion is to be... I'm sorry, Heavy and Destroyers. Oh, so they're like straight up blocking across Phosphex? Fire Raptor, yeah, the Leviathans, the Mastodon, the Sakarans we did. You can still use it with Legend Rolls, yeah. So it's not just not official tournaments. Gatekeeper players, most players love the idea of it. Like, so much of it just depends on your, like, your local scene, right? Because, like, yes, with friends, probably not a huge deal. If you're trying to do pickup games. At least here, I know it's very tournament competitive heavy. So if I were to try and get a pickup game and try to play my Mastodon, it's probably not working. But yeah, kind of depends where you're at. KT, hello, how are you? It feels bad, man, since wasted my 3,500 points of portrayal down the drain. It, yeah, it do feel bad. Annoying. Plus, I just love Leviathans, and the fact that I now can't take it makes me sad. Because they're just cool. Let me play with my toy. Oh, well. What are we going to do about it? I wanted a Kratos, yeah. Same. It looks so cool. Maybe I just say heck it. <laughs> heck it, I'm getting a Kratos. They're walking across a battlefield burnt to cinders by Fopex. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. So you've got the, uh, the burnt battlefield and then the Fopex. I actually had two players approach me to ask if they use my Mastodon as a central table objective for their game, so even useless would still as useless. <laughs> there you go. Just giving it some new life there. Gotta love that. Reaper, did I say hi to you? Hi, Reaper. How are you? Sometimes I forget when we're back to back streams if I've said hi or not. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard for my, my brain to remember. Ah, yes, that $800 terrain piece. 
wasn't there at one of the tournaments I'm gonna use like a manta as part of their display board. Is it a giant towel manta? Why is there more snow? It all just melted. Nope. It just made room for more snow, Reaper. Now you're set for the next batch. It's very considerate of it. How competitive is where you play? It's a lot of tournament. Here I had someone get super mad because I made a normal Thousand Suns list that had Magnus and a Vortex piece. The other player called me a tryhard. I've only been playing for a year and a half. I can't remember half the rules. It's it's definitely interesting. There's yeah, there's a lot of like net listing and like even if you're trying to get like a pickup game, I would say competitive vibe is strong here. Which is super not my vibe, so I tend to only play with friends that I know pretty well. Talking about pickup games, I can't think of the last one I played in like any mini style game. Goodness. It's time. It's time. I'm I'm pretty picky with who I play here locally. It's gotta be someone I know I vibe with. Someone who's also here for uh, the beer and pretzels vibe. If not, I'm not interested. Alright, we gotta do some washes. I think what we'll do is we'll do a couple washes and go to the Stern Guard for a bit. I want to look into Blood Bowl. That's true. That's a, kind of a different community right off the bat. Though you say that, probably here it's still... Probably still annoying here. <laughs> uh, most local game stars I've been to are super competitive, playing only meta lists. I stopped going because I love playing thematic fun lists. Now I just play at home. My friends play so much better. Yeah. Same. For me, it's not worth it. Like, even attempting. <laughs> Not even word, but... Play with friends and stuff. Just, uh... A pug at the store or whatever. You always think about Blood Bowl? I feel like it'd probably be up your alley, Jesse. Just from the, uh... All of the other games that you play. I feel like... From what I've heard, it would probably be a good fit for you. You get fun minis. Don't have to paint a whole army, which is nice. Community seems a little, like, less serious. <laughs> less competitive. I got the starter box with humans and orcs. Probably out of date now. Uh, I think you would probably just need new rules, but if someone in chat wants to confirm or correct, feel free. I think the minis you could use. Squeezel, welcome in. How are you? Stern Guard was the last two units I made found... I'm sorry. I made. Found them stand out and have a veteran appearance. More challenging with the Dark Krakens. I'll show you what we've got here. Um, so these are... Live and Madness put these together. So if there are bits and things, unfortunately I won't know where they're from. But we can take a look here when we get these washes on. They look pretty cool. We've got some cloth, like their tabards, to finish. Um, we'll do their bases off stream. What else have I got on them? I got pretty far last night. We have the leathers to work up. I meant the rules, yeah. I think you would just need to pick up the new books. You can certainly try Hard Blood Bowl. Yeah, I was going to say, there's still tournaments and things, but I would think your local like pickup game would be a lot friendlier vibe off the, off the bat. There's always going to be the, the tryhards. <laughs> always going to be the tryhards. All right, we're just doing, again, this is just normal, like we were talking earlier. I'm just doing it on all of our silver. I'm going to leave the actual, like, treads for later, just so I can let those sit, flip the tank over, let it dry. I'll save that for a bit later today. Everything up top here we can get. We can also get the little um, eagle up front. I'll do that here in a moment. Before we move on to some stern card. Modern Blood Bowl 2020 and the old rules, even then the rules aren't that different. Yeah, they just kind of got updated from 
my understanding. And then the fact that they're supporting teens again seemed to be the bigger bit. I didn't want to do the Helms Pauldron and trim Codex Standard White, so I felt it didn't work with the Kraken scheme. So I went with purple Helms with, ooh, a violet trim and gold details. That sounds sick. Yeah, that sounds like that would work really nicely. Well, if you'd like to show them off, we do have, in case anyone is new to stream, we have our Discord, which is kind of our home away from home. If anyone would like to come join, hang out in there. Um, I also do have a YouTube channel that we are putting more work into. So if you guys want to catch my YouTube videos, we're doing another showcase for the community challenge for January here soon. I have a video going up Wednesday I'm excited about. It's my first anime repaint. And then all of our Twitch VODs and shorts and stuff are there too. So feel free to go check that out. Let me get the reds for our little eagle. Hey, Sean, welcome in. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm getting used to watching TikTok over there. <laughs> How are you? Thank you, thank you. Is there anything you're working on today? Let me find this paint real quick. There we go. Thank you, Scott, for help. Have you considered perhaps more purple? Waste of Mind's like, why not purple helms with purple trim and purple details? <laughs> why not? All right, let's get this red on. For theirs, I start with corn red. A little bit darker of a red for their tequilas and things. Murdoch, welcome in. How are you? Let's see. TikTok. I'm good working on my ooh, AdMech army at the moment. Very nice. Which, uh, which unit have we got? It's been a while since I've worked on some AdMech. They've got some cool stuff, though. I feel like especially with some of their newer units with their refresh. Definitely got some cool stuff. I know, the hard part's always all the metallic. I feel like that's for everyone I know who works on um, AdMech. That's a hard time getting all those metallics taken care of. Because it's a lot. I thought no more 40k. We gotta get this commission done. Gotta get it done. My personal projects probably won't be for a bit. No. No, no. There's never enough purple. Big agree. I say starting my Emperor's Children Army. <laughs> Big agree. All right. Um, trying to find other things we can work on while stuff dries. We can do our edge highlights here. Black's still drying, so I don't want to do too much there. Yeah, let's just do the edge highlights, and then we'll go to the Storm Guard for a little bit. Hashtag purple gang, that's right. All right, let's get, make sure I'm on TikTok camera still. The other fun thing I have to keep in mind when I'm on TikTok here is my camera is scaled down a bit. <laughs> make sure I'm still middle of frame here. Seems to be working okay, though. Did anyone else check out the uh, the TikTok feed? You guys have any suggestions for me? Let me know. I think at this point it's just a matter of getting used to OBS having my preview, my scene, my vertical, and TikTok. <laughs> Wait, cowboy hat and corgi. What? Oh, thank you so much for the cowboy hat. I see them now. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for my cowboy corgi. <laughs> yeah, I just got to get used to it. TikTok's a little different. So for those on TikTok, my main home is Twitch. That is where I've been streaming for, oh goodness, six years now. That's what I'm most familiar with. But uh, it's been really fun getting more stuff on TikTok. Working on videos and things. So we're going to try and do the lives over here more. Thank you everyone for coming to check it out. Appreciate it.
We are working on a repulsor tank for the Imperial Fists. This is part of a larger wave um, of an army. So we've done two waves already. This is kind of wave three, but we've got the repulsor here. We've also got some stern guard that are in progress. So we've still got basing and some more details to do for them. Um, I got to work on some of the new terminators, which are pretty sick. The, the new scale is really nice. Very, very clean looking. So I would definitely want some for my wolves as well. We have the new Apothecary. Which this and the regular Primaris Apothecary. Also cool models. Oh, Frozen Wolf. Also on TikTok. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for checking it out. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got. We've also got a Gladiator tank. The rest of it I've got kind of put away out of the... Uh, off my desk because we have limited space here. But... But yeah, that's what we've got for the Imperial Fist, so thanks for coming to check it out. Six years, yeah, we've been a partner for, I think, five. It'll be six in May. Oh. I do love streaming. But this year we're trying some more stuff, trying to grow a little bit more. So TikTok's part of that. Um, I know Instagram, you can also stream. I don't know that I'm interested in the Instagram side of things, but, but maybe. Apparently my dad's fence in his backyard was completely blown over last night. Oh gosh, with all the rain you guys are getting. That's scary. Hit or miss on the scale of the new termies. Glad they're a little bigger. I think they may have done it, overdone it a little bit. I think they're really nice. I like that... I feel like going to that is kind of like the first time you paint one of the new primaries. Where like the scale just feels real good. I do hope we get some new wolf guard in the uh, the new turny size. It wasn't just rain, it was big wind gusting to, oh gosh, 65 to 70 last night. Like the storm and the big, big tree was blown over. Oh, that's scary, yeah. It is. We've had a few of those storms, and just like hearing it outside is... It's always like, oh god, we've got to go check everything out once we're... Once this blows past. How do I have blue in my... How did I manage that? What on earth happened? Hold on, Chad. <laughs> I have mysterious blue from somewhere. Not sure how that got on my hand. You have an old Terminator? Uh, not back here, no. Make sure I didn't get blue on the bottom. I didn't, which is kind of a miracle. I don't know how I did that. I think you just like the unique scale of the Horus Heresy minis. That's fair. That's fair. The freeze here a couple weeks ago was crazy. You've got blue on you, yeah, apparently. <laughs> uh, because the Twitch bot has brought this up, I do want to go over Partner Plus one more time. So we talked about it yesterday. I did go ahead and throw it in the bot just so we have it where you can read it because I am someone who has an easier time when you can read it. On Twitch, we are pushing for Partner Plus. What that means is if we hit it, the sub split, so the amount of sub that goes to me versus goes to Twitch, goes from a 50-50 to a 60-40. I get more money per sub. What we need for that are three month consecutive subs. So prime subs and gift subs do not count toward that. If you'd like to help me unlock that split, uh, switching a gift sub, or I'm sorry, a prime sub to a regular sub helps out. Switching over a gift sub to a regular sub, if you continue a sub, that helps. And also increasing the tier of your sub can help. So going up to a tier two or a tier three, that all helps. So the reason we're talking about that now is it goes into effect May 1st, but we start qualifying for it now. So the three months that we need to go to May starts now. So if you'd like to help, that is all in that, um, message from the bot. You can read through it if you'd like. But thank you to everyone who has switched over some subs to help to reach that. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I just wanted to go over it. If you guys have any questions, because I know it is a little confusing, they, uh, they don't make it easy to explain. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know. Happy to go over it. If you search Blood Bowl rules, you don't get anything on Games Workshop site. <laughs> Helpful. Yeah, because you have to know, what, the exact name of the book you're looking for, I'm assuming. 
<laughs> Even William brought back Nikki Tall Eyes. True. Nikki Tall Eyes did make an appearance. Thank you so much, Nikki Tall Eyes. <laughs> I understand why they're doing it that way. I know where the prime and gifted don't count because they're not continuous. And people can just buy into the program for, for gifted. But yeah, they're not a continuous sub is why they don't. Um, let's work on, we actually have, I keep finding little things we can work on instead of swapping over. <laughs> but yeah, if, you, uh, if you're like me and you like to read it, I now have a command for that. You can read through that if you'd like. But we're going to push toward that because that would help me quite a bit. So thank you. I guess the only other stream thing I have is we are also going to kill off Patreon. It's not working the way that I wanted. I would rather put that time into YouTube. So if you are on Patreon, make sure you download the things you need. Because I will be looking into how to get all of that closed up here this week. So make sure you look into that. And I'm saying Prime, but gifted. Maybe because they, they want, yeah. It's to show that you have continuous support. Like you as the streamer, I mean. So the it's kind of the idea for partner, right? Is you have to have the consecutive 75 viewers. It's to show that you have continuous support. Gifted are great. But it's not a continuous thing. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can buy yourself into the program with gifted subs. <laughs> if you just, if it was, if I saw at the end of February we weren't going to hit it, so I just gift out 20 subs or whatever to hit my number and try and unlock it, you can just buy yourself into the program at that point, which is also not what the intent is. Why is Nikki carrying the shotgun taking Patreons in the old woodshed? It just didn't work the way um, I was hoping it was a place for people maybe who don't either like Twitch or can uh, come in for the Twitch to do some of that content. That's just not how it works. And that's okay. We'll just move it to YouTube. YouTube, I think, will give me what I want to do because it has a, uh, a broader audience. I can still, now that YouTube has memberships, which it didn't back when I started Patreon, I think it's a better fit for what I want to do. We're going to move it over there. Just, we learned, we're moving. So if you guys would like still the tutorial content, hop on over to YouTube with us. That'll give me what I want to do. We'll get all set up there. But there's my streamer update. Like I said earlier, we're going to be trying new stuff this year. Some of it'll stick, some of it won't. And that's okay. We just have to try it. Works kind of intuitively to gifting at the moment, too. If you gift, it's someone who is going to subscribe. Oh, on their own. The sub point won't count. Yeah. I don't. I guess, like, real talk here for a moment. I hate any time I have to explain a program where it's like, support me, but not that way. I, I hate having to do that. <laughs> but to unlock the uh, the revenue share, that's, that's how we have to do it this time. Anytime I have to be like, support me, but no, not that way. I, I hate it, so. <laughs> but that, that's where we're at right now, so. Just how it goes. Just how it goes. I don't make the rules. You're giving me money wrong. Exactly. That's, it feels real weird. I don't super like it, but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Just donate money. Raw money. My banking info is. <laughs> They can disable gift benefits and sub on their own. Can they do that right then? Or do you have to wait for it to run out? Canceling always gets a little funky here on Twitch. Maybe I need to look into that as well. A friend streamer uh, has a relatively new Patreon and still hates mentioning it. Chat has to pressure him to mention it. It's awkward. It's awkward sending people to Patreon. It was awkward promoting it, because every time you'd be, someone would ask a question, I'm like, oh, well, this will work up on Patreon, and then you would never see that person again. Because <laughs> people just, they don't want to do that. 
I think Patreon is great if you've already got an audience and you can offer kind of extra stuff. You're still trying to build that audience, so that's part of your goal. It's not what you're looking for. Yeah. You can disable it right away. Got gifted a lot of subs to people. I don't know. My emotes are getting flooded, so I disabled all of them. Yeah, I didn't know if you could, like you mentioned, like if you wanted to gift sub, like let's say it ran out and you just hadn't been in stream to refresh it. I didn't know if that you could do immediately. Spill paint pot, welcome in. How are you today? Happy Monday. I do want to say hello again to everyone over on TikTok. Hello. Uh, the chat I'm reading is over on Twitch. If you'd like to join us, the link's in my bio. But we are working on a repulsor tank for the Imperial Fists. So just trying to get this together as part of a larger wave of a commission. Welcome, everybody. If you have any fun projects, we'd love to hear about it, though. I can read Twitch or uh, TikTok chat. Because most of the uh, the chat that I am reading is over on Twitch, if you'd like to come join us. That's kind of my main home. So Pate says, uh-oh, tragedy struck. I lost the head of the last model I needed to complete my Malifaux crew. So I'm calling them done, one model short. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really frustrating. Especially on the last one. That's frustrating. All glad they are done for now. <laughs> Until that decides to show up. Tony, welcome in. How are you? What kind of stream I was exactly once during a raid? During the first message with some of their emotes. It's a power move. <laughs> Twitch is the premium experience. That's right. That's where I got all my stuff. Um, behold my stuff. We're going to try some more TikTok stuff. All right, there's that. We do have a bit more edge highlighting we can do. We're never going to get to the stern guard because I keep finding little things to work on. That's okay, though. They both have to get done. We'll just keep hopping around. Oh, a headless marshal? There you go. You want a headless mini be on brand? They could be. That was one of the alts I got, wasn't it, Scott? Like a, a creepy marshal? Spoopy? I really need to get back to Malifa stuff. <laughs> okay, bot, hold on, hold on. All of our timers sitting at once there. <laughs> oh, you have his hat, though. Just no head. <laughs> if it's for an event, you could do, like, a little ball of green stuff. Just put the hat on for now. Come back when you when you find it. Just give him a little uh, a little sculpted smiley face with some green stuff. Could be cute. GW skull green stuff something yeah, just for the event at least. Could be cute. And then if it if it turns up, pop it back out. Trying to decide what to paint for Superb Owl Sunday. Thinking about my Scarvet on Agrodon, I love that kit, Panda. Can recommend. Count Summoner on Disc. Third option that might be an Orc. Possibly Zagrod. I love the Scarvet. That's my opinion. That's my vote. I would paint that kit all over again. It was so much fun. Give him the largest skull in the kit. Power move. Chat all about the power moves this morning. Respect it. Hey, it's that. Welcome in. Paint the neck with blood splatter. There you go. Take it off as your first casualty. There you go. Put the hat down low. There you go. Yeah, just, just cover it. Big head mode enabled like the James Bond game. Yeah. Ooh, perfect. See, we, we got some options. Well, it decides to show up. We got some options. Okay. In here. Edge highlighting is never done, Jet. Never. Just when you think you're done, more will show up. Just like Eldar gems. Gold Knight? Exactly, Band of Goblins. Welcome in. How are you?
Let's see, for those we didn't get to chat with yesterday, how was the ones weekend? What were we up to? Our D&D game got cancelled, so I ended up playing Infinite Wealth, like, most of the day Saturday. It was nice. Did that in chores. Watched a little bit of One Piece. Still trying to make my way through the, uh, the Skypea arc of One Piece. Which is starting to drag a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get through it. It's just a lot of episodes. Just a lot. <laughs> okay, now I see what's happening. My blue is too close to my yellow. Getting picked up on my brush. Hey, Vermeida, welcome in. How are ya? People say it's, wait, the beginning of the drag? I feel like I'm missing something, sorry. <laughs> like that arc is? Welcome, welcome. How are you? Let's see, Bandit Goblins works on some Electro Priests. Was notified by my boss, aka my son, that the next project is called. <laughs> yes, boss. Yes, boss. I mean, Call's a sick model. That'll be fun. He's got a lot of details to work through. A lot of details. I think the next, since we did Lucius for my Emperor's Children, I think my next Emperor's Children product, I've got Vashdor that I really want to work on. I think we may pull him. Because <laughs> I think he'd look pretty cool in some purple. Even if, you know, not lore accurate. I think he'd look pretty cool in it. Oh no, you're good! <laughs> One Piece turns into 30 episodes to 70 episodes to 200 episodes with a lot of bloat in them. Yeah. So what I'm actually using is One Pace, which is the fan edit, to like bring it back to like basically manga pace. The point that I've reached, though, they haven't edited, so I'm having to go back to the actual episodes. <laughs> and I, I'm definitely feeling the, the slow crawl here. It's still good. I don't want to take away from One Piece, but this arc is, is we're dragging a little bit. And that's okay. I've noticed a lot of the anime from that time period kind of do similar things. Um, I recently binged through Bleach and kind of saw very similar ways that they set up the episodes and that's just how it is <laughs> unfortunately they like to do the thing where like the show where everyone is even if they're not necessarily doing something important but that also means only like one major thing is happening in each episode and you just you just kind of keep going back and forth from there but yeah Definitely noticed it when I was going through Bleach. And several of them from that time just do it. What are you up to, Mino? And is there anything you're watching? What have you got? Well, I... <laughs> I'll chat all about my One Piece adventures. What are you watching? So many bits that can and probably will break off. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would just keep an eye out. If you can do some sub-assemblies so that you don't have to, like, rest your fingers on some of those pieces, that might help. Paul has a lot of little pieces sticking out, though, for sure. Certainly watch Black Clover. The main voice actor is kind of like, oh, nails on a chalkboard. I've not seen that, so I don't know the voice actor. That does make it tough, though. There are definitely some, like, tropey voices that I cannot stand, so I, I understand that. I can't do the very high-pitched lady's voice in anime. I can't do it. 
Big Tank Consumer Shampoo, welcome in. We have a repulsor. How are you? This is for our Imperial Fist Army. So we had some Terminators, we've got some Stern Guard. Uh, a couple of the characters, basically the Space Marine half of Leviathan is what we're kind of cruising through. And now adding a repulsor to our list. Kind of getting some edge highlighting that we didn't do last time. Probably because I got tired of edge highlighting. <laughs> I gotta come back and finish up. Half the episodes are him just screaming. <laughs> Lillian, welcome in. How are you? Black Clover Protag and Will's mood kindred. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome. Other than that, how is uh, Black Clover? I've not, I've not really looked into it. If I'm honest, I don't know a whole lot about it. I see it pop up occasionally, and that's, that's about all I know. We have a new anime for you, which we do. We started a super duper cute romance anime last night. I'll go over it again. It is Sign of Affection, and the lady is deaf, and she uses sign language and meets a sweet boy who will learn sign language with her. Very cute. I struggled to get into Black Clover. It seemed to have long winded intro that was meant to me. Yeah, if you don't, I feel like a lot of those series, like if you don't find it interesting right off the bat, that's, that's it. I wish solo leveling had been more, had been stronger for me off the bat. I think maybe it just got overhyped for me. Like everyone was talking about it, and then we watched it and it was like, eh. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh no, is there something weird in my back? I have a race tonight. I am gonna get the heating pad, massage gun, all the things. My friends keep recommending solo leveling to me, but it doesn't look like my cup of tea. I only watched the first couple episodes, and it was okay. It was okay. A lot of people are saying, oh, Delicious and Dungeon's really good. I've heard that, too. I, uh, I'll probably check that out at some point. I have heard that's good, yeah. I shall place the recommendation upon my screen immediately. I know, I need to... I think I put that on a timer. I might just make that a command. Be right back reading. <laughs> that is about our partner plus that we are going for. So it's important, but I should probably just leave it as a command. So that is the new revenue split that we could potentially unlock here. So important stuff, but it does take some explaining. Twitch has some explaining to do. If you have any questions, well, let me know. Or if anyone else has questions about it. Oops. Happy to go over it, but it's uh, it's a mouthful. Should I deliver USPS or other character? Uh, I don't know. Think just USP. I can now hear on the street. <laughs> hey, Hell's Kitchen, welcome in. How are you today? Hello from Texas. How you doing? We are working on a repulsor for the Imperial Fists. How are you? <gasps> Luton, hello. How are you? We're doing well here. We're just knocking out a commission here today. What you up to? The mail is almost here. I ordered chat. I'm kind of excited. I got one of the Dragon Ball kits that build like a gunpla. Because it looked fun. And I noticed they were getting kind of hard to find. So I found one on Gundam Planet and I grabbed it. <laughs> I thought it could be a fun stream project. 
there any way to move the on-screen widget that tracks your subpoint total? I think you're reading that bot text. It might be cool to see how far along. I wish I could. So I don't know if maybe when the program goes live. Um, right now, the widget, I can only do the new subs or I think total subs. I wish I could. I think I accidentally nuked one of our goals because I was trying to put it on. Yeah, I wish I wish it was so I can see it and I have it. I actually have it below the screen. Uh, so if you look below the stream, there is like a help me get partner plus type thing. But I wish I could have it on OBS. Yeah. I'm fine. It's a little cold and rain. Hope you can stay stay warm today. Let's see. Finishing painting. The currently built models. Oh, my Necrons, which is a nice weight off my mind. The downside, one of those is the Seraptic. <laughs> But think how cool it'll be when it's done. I understand that, though. I've got a few projects like that. It's like, uh, I want that done, but... The work it will be. Just screen cap your own stream, then crop out that one tiny section. I guess I could. Yeah, I guess I could. It's a good shout. I mean, the new subs are also, also good. It's just, I don't know. Sadie's going nuts because the mail truck is out front. Sorry, chat. It's a super booth-like way of doing it, but if bot Twitch doesn't let you, it's done. I wonder if, like, once the feature is actually live, like, once it switches over to the new numbers, if we would get it. I have a feeling that's... Because even right now, the one below the stream is the old number. It's still the 350 because the program isn't actually live just yet. So it's not the new 100 that it should be and that we'll be going for. So once it's all, like, actually official, maybe we'll get it. One of these days, I'll just have to make a donation to get Nikki to paint Gorm instead of hoping he wins a pull. Oh, no, did the watcher pull ahead? Chat. This is for Gorm. If you want to vote for Sub Sunday, exclamation vote. There was a tie and it looks like we now have someone in the lead. For Gorm! <laughs> I was going to say, we do have the new channel points. It's, uh, it's a lot of points, but you can do that there. Do you do commission work or just for fun? I do commission work. So today is actually commission work. This is a project that, um, I'm sorry, an army we've done a couple projects for. So uh, my full-time work is commissions and streaming. So welcome on in. If you have any other questions, let me know. Um, I also play and paint 40K for myself. So I have Space Wolves. I've got Tyranids. Eldar, now Emperor's Children. Sigmar side, I've got Skaven, Seraphon, and Slanesh. And I just made a mess of that. Hold on. Okay, that's where is the nope option? Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. Scrolling back to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, Hell's Kitchen, do you have any projects you're working on? What have you got on the table? Whoa, caps. Luton says, I'll be honest, I'm definitely an advanced builder when it comes to minis at this point, but the Seraptic is a pain in the ass. Some serious pinning, head to the epoxy to get the legs strong enough. Yeah, there's there's still those builds where even with either doing it full time or having been in the hobby forever, there's still those kits that are just a pain in the butt. <laughs> Bad calls, have a good one. Have a good one, Murdoch. Thanks for coming by. We will catch you next time. Bye-bye for now. Thanks everyone for coming to check out the stream today, especially for our TikTok friends. Thank you so much. I'm going to be doing more lives over there here going forward. So thank you for coming to check out the stream. Uh, if you're on TikTok and wondering who the heck I'm talking about, the uh, the chat that I am reading is actually over on Twitch. That link is in my bio if you want to come join us. Otherwise, I'll keep working on the repulsor here. Oh, Gorm <laughs> I was I played 40k in the 90s and starting Hero Quest again with the family. It's funny you say that. We had several people in the community all pick up Hero Quest in the last, like, week. <laughs> it is such a fun game. I hope the fam is enjoying it. We ran out and got a few of the expansions that we had missed. 
We're going to try and get our D&D &D, uh, party to play with us. See if they'll, they'll do that. They tend to just want to play D&D, &D, so we'll see. But It's a fast... It's easy to pick up, too, I think is the important thing. So, like, if you have a group that maybe doesn't do a lot of board games, or you're playing with smaller smaller kiddos, it's really easy to pick up, which is great. I mean, I voted Gorm, so my soul is safe from the eventual demonic rapture. Good. Good, good. You voted for the Lion God twice? Thanks, VPN. <laughs> so wait, you took my vote and then another vote? Axe. Axe. Serapic is worth it, though. It's a huge centerpiece, and it's kind of crazy. It's only 500 points. Does it, does it do pretty well? I don't actually know. Sounds like it. If we're looking at points. Sounds like you're saying it's worth the points. No small kids, but newbies and tabletop. Yeah, super easy for them to pick up then, which is great. Sometimes those board games are. Can be a lot with just rules, and if you have someone who's not used to board games, it can be. Kind of a struggle to get them to sit there and listen to all the rules and keep all that straight. No, you're great. Thank you so much for coming to check out the stream. You're all good. You still have your original hero quests. As a kid, I couldn't get anyone that wanted to play. We have our, or Scott. Scott has his original copy, not mine. Scott's. <laughs> we've, we've still got it too in our game room. And then we got the new one so we don't like worry about scratching it all up. Let's see, it has two weapons choices, and they're both quite horrifying. Excellent. <laughs> That's what we like to hear, Luton. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> see, Shane, the original expansions are so expensive. I'd love to have them, too. I am glad that there is a new version that, like, if we wanted to take it somewhere, we're not as worried about, like, the box getting torn up or... Anything happening to it. Then keep the keep the original, but still get to play. Score weapons are singularity generators. That already sounds badass. They go 2d6 attacks each, and strength, uh, AP3, and 4 damage. Also blast and devastating wounds. That's pretty great. Well, says I've loved the Sereptics since reading... Oh, Twice Dead King. Did I miss it? What are you up to today, Will? Speaking of struggling, I started laundry only eight hours later than I intended to. <laughs> laundry always takes forever, yeah. I've gotten better about it, about as far as, like, going to do it as soon as it comes up, but... Something that should take two to three hours takes ten plus, yeah. You just fluff it one more time when you forget. Keep fluffing that laundry. Gotten better. It's still like my least favorite chore, though. Many of us is eating Pringles straight out of the can as we played your request. I was cringing a bit. See? That's why you get the new version. So you don't Pringles up your old version. <laughs> you don't want to Pringles the hero quest. All right, there's all that. We got our lights started, lenses started, more gold. And think what else we do here on stream. A little over an hour. Um, what we may do, let me get my phone. We're going to flip this over and get the rest of the treads. That's what we're going to do so I can wash all that later. Hey, Bullet Warrior, welcome in. We're doing well. How are you? We are working on this repulsor tank for the Imperial Fists. Um, let me show you the tank before we do flip it over. This will go here. Here we go. We've got this today. We've also got some Stern Guard, which we're going to swap to here in just a moment. You look like my favorite. Oh, a female singer? This sings this long, cruel summer. <laughs> well, thank you. Welcome in. 
But yeah, for anyone new to the channel, we've been a lot of Warhammer here. I've got 40k and Age of Sigmar armies. We also love to paint things like Kingdom Death and Malifo, some display pieces. Well, welcome on in. If you want to check out what else we work on, there are my socials. Thank you, Slam, for throwing that in the chat. Appreciate it. I would like to oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was thinking of the... I know that she has Cruel Summer. I was thinking of the older song, Cruel Summer. So I guess I feel like I'm showing my millennial here. <laughs> William says, it's my one day off today. Waifu isn't doing well, so I'm on Papa Duty. I hope she's feeling better soon. Hope Papa Duty goes well today. I doubt the new one will be worth that much. Who knows, maybe she'll be playing with her kids someday. Cute. Cute. Work done, let's go, Sly. All right, let me get the piece of foam. I like to do that when we're flipping over models just so we don't scuff up any paint. Give me one second. All right. And then, yep. You killed the cooldown on Hydrate. Someone did get it earlier. Oh, and there it is again. Chat, reminder, self-care checkpoint. Hydrate, eat your food, take your meds, all the things. Play applause. Yep, that too. Do that too. All right, we're going to get the rest of the treads. I haven't done them yet because they've been sitting on them. So We're going to get a bigger, older brush and just go to town. My tank is on foam. It is. It went from hover tank to foam tank. I do this so we don't scratch up the paint as we go. We're just going to paint all these treads so I can wash them this afternoon. The cup is gigantic. I've not actually seen it before. I love my big cup. I am a sucker for big cups, big mugs. Because I don't like having to get up every half hour to refill them. My librarian gets thrown, but at least the tank is blessed. Not my fault. He sits weird on his base. <laughs> Oh, there are more trucks out front. Sorry, chat. Oh, you nearly forgot your cup of tea. How cold is it, Frozen Wolf? I hate when I forget hot coffee or hot tea. Nikki's the size of an average large mini. A combo. A big mug and a small Nikki. Well, yeah, we're just going to paint this up. I know it's not the most exciting thing for a stream, but it needs to get done, so we're going to do it. Tomorrow, I kind of want to bring on my Kingdom Death Phoenix. But I also understand that that means a couple Kingdom Death streams all in a row. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do that or if we keep doing Warhams tomorrow. Your muscles, you're becoming buff, girl. <laughs> Will you, you want to see? Urgh. Look at it. Look at it. My next goal is the, the shoulder bump. I want it. I want it. I'm going to get it. Five is enough for this month's challenge. Yeah, if that's, a, if that's kind of a regular squad, it absolutely is. I mean, I'm doing three, so five is perfect. I have to go adult now, says Griffith. Get some lunch. Buy some Retributor armor paint. Enjoy. We'll see you later. Hope you have something yummy for lunch. Behold my streamer bicep. That's right. <laughs> I'll, I'll know. No one will ever get the gold I use. You can find it on YouTube. Exclamation YouTube. <laughs> you can get it there. Okay. I make a note. That's the one we bring over today. <laughs> As we keep finding things, I go and, uh, I go and add them. Thank you. Don't worry, I fixed the birthday command, so that's that's good for you. Um, I got timers to work, so that's exciting. The information is lost to the void of history. Yep. History, nothing but a void. So we're getting there. Little bit by little bit, it's all moving over. 
Mean to zoom and enhance more of your buffness? William is here to check out all of the biceps. But yeah, shoulders is my my next thing to figure out here. Do they hurt? Because I've never really trained shoulders on their own before, so it's very different. Are they hurt it. Today we're back to leg day, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> we get a reverse lunge into pain. Can you fix my overstretched pulled back muscle instead? Sorry, massage therapy here in the chat. Uh, if anyone likes the silver I'm using, it's just like lead, lead belcher. I'm thinning it with a little bit of water. And it covers pretty nicely. Filters are a lightweight muscle group, unless you're doing press, yeah. I know. I just feel weak. <laughs> they don't like. I did, uh, did a few different. I do the lateral raises. I do the, like, front. Oh, what do we even call it? Where you just raise it in front of you. Did some upright rows. Usually do the Arnold press. But I got all that. We pressing. That's right. It's always my wait. The what is thoracis? What is that? All right. There's one side. Next. All the new shows start next? Oh, for, like, cable stuff? <laughs> I'm still watching The X-Files from, like, 96, so... <laughs> Not keeping... Is there one you're excited for, C. Decker? <laughs> what are the muscle groups? The one that stretches from the mid-back spine to shoulder. Ah, okay. All right, as we turn it, I'll try and get the different angles, too, so we go on here. I usually have to do a couple touch-ups just because there's so many different angles on these things. We'll get what we can here. It's tough getting in between all these. I would say if anyone has one of these in the backlog, you can actually at least leave these separate and add them on later, and that makes things a bit easier. I did that with my gladiator. It's really easy. So for anyone else that has one, I'll pass that along. Oh yeah, I gotta change that. Well, it's too many words. It needs to be a command. Season 5 and 6's peak expos? Uh, yeah, season 4 is rough like 6. <laughs> I, I'm ready to get to season 5. <laughs> I think it's weird because I really liked... I thought 3 was pretty good. Like it had a good... Um, a good pace, a good mix of things. The, like, relationship between Mulder and Scully was good. Like, they were kind of closer. You could tell they had been through some shit together. And then four, he just turns into an asshole for some reason. <laughs> I'm ready to get back to, to what the what it was. <laughs> Mulder's such a jerk in four. Let's see all the NCIS and FBI shows. It's five or six hours of stuff to watch a week there. My goodness. That is, that is a lot. Bloat Max with me, chat. Become enormous and strong to fight bear. <laughs> what was that? It's the TikTok thing. Don't want to be strong like a man who look pretty. <laughs> be strong like bitch who fight bears in the woods. That's, that's my fitness goals right there. That's my fitness goal. Fight bear in the woods.
Yes. <laughs> uh, that's my goal, Will. We fight there in the woods. <laughs> Ooh. One day. I'm getting there. I was telling Slam I'm coming up on my one year anniversary of working out and watching my diet and all of that. Which is pretty nuts, but it's been a year. Well, that'll be after Adepticon is the year. But I remember I came back and then I just I started it hard. We're almost there. We're down 14 pounds and then whatever muscle I've put on. Which I, I don't know how to track that, but... It's a, it's a significant amount, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> Only bloat god, Nikki. <laughs> We had a guy nicknamed Bear in high school. He was a really nice guy. Not sure why you'd want to fight him, because I have to. I... I have to. <laughs> Sorry. I have to fight him in the woods. Him, Bear Girls. We have to fight. And I'm a win. And I'm a win. I feel like painting these treads is one of the most boring things I've brought on stream, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Good luck fighting the bear, Scott. I'll commentate and start whelp. <laughs> well, there's that. I'm gonna win, though. I just around the boy to work out, but I'm hoping he's a little bit more independent. I go back to heavy lifting in the gym. Let's go. I wonder if my parents still have my weight equipment. You could get it set up. Get it all set up for when you're ready. My bulldog bear would not want to fight you. He would just roll over and want belly rubs. I can do that too. Okay, that bear I do not fight. The rest of them though, watch out. The rest of the bears have to have to watch out. Once I get my shoulder bump, you're in trouble. Then you're in trouble. I'm not sure how I'm getting wrapped in this. It's not my goal to fight bears. <laughs> I also wasn't sure, but I went with it. So. <laughs> I don't know. It seemed fun, so I went with it. Anyone else want to fight bears? Over here? Anyone? Bear's Life is playing a Yakuza game? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that could totally be a mini game. If, uh, our bear fitness. I mean, in one of them you fight tigers and stuff, so... Why wouldn't I fight a bear? I think you actually do in one of them. I think a bear is, is part of it. <laughs> the Nikki met the Twitch meta boyfriend application to her stream title? That's right. <laughs> We gotta always follow the meta. Yep. Always. Too bad I can't do my... I was too late to the black bar meta. We gotta go on to the next one here. Alright. Our turtle pink. <laughs> We're gonna set aside. We're gonna work on some starting guard for a little bit. It's that, or we do have the gladiator, which needs a little bit more. Um, let's stern guard. Yoink. <sighs> Grab him by the little head. I started the cloth last night. They have, like, the cream-colored cloth. I started their helmets. I didn't quite get through all of them last night. Let's just dive back in. You're here for the banter, too. We have a lot of that. I can offer all of that here on uh, TikTok and Twitch. <laughs> well, so I still remember when I felt my calves for the first time when I was younger. Much more sedentary lad. It was like, is this a tumor? Very muscular father laughs so hard he got dizzy. You feel the muscle bump and it begins. Once you start down the path, there is no going back. I remember after I had started working on my arms quite a bit, I was like, I was laying in a way that it was like really solid. And that was new. And I was just like, what is that? What am I laying on? I'm like, oh, it's my muscle. <laughs> it just, I remember that feeling weird. And it's like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> My body is just straight up different now. That's cool. 
but yeah, nope. I remember when I first started working out too, like my legs were the first thing to really like look different. And I just kept coming up to Scott, like, look at my legs. Look at them. Look at my legs. <laughs> You cannot relax until you charge your body from uh, soft and mushy to iron and power. That's right. <laughs> Look at my legs. <laughs> I still do it. Of course, Scott still has to listen to me. <laughs> if I could show you too, Chad, I would. Fortunately, I cannot, but... <laughs> but look at him anyway. <laughs> Brozo, hello, how are you? Are you insane? A muscular man shouted, it's not a too much. <laughs> uh, just another day in absolutely Will's life. Yep. yep. But the cookie down. <laughs> Iron within means strong muscles. All of chat's going to be absolutely ripped here. And I'm here for it. Now, because I'm on a carb cut, I just look at Scott and I go, am I shredded yet? Am I shredded yet? <laughs> and he's, he's very sweet and says that I'm on my way. <laughs> but am I shredded yet? We're getting there. We're getting there. It's every day. <laughs> but am I? <laughs> Uh. Norman says, chat, I just realized I forgot about the terrain effects of second weapon all day on Saturday. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Let's see. Norman says, the downside of working out is that some sleeping positions stop working. Currently in a spot where I can't hug my pillow properly because the tendons in my shoulders have shorter reach. Ouch. I'm sorry. That is hard, though. Little for losing weight. Just calorie deficit it up. There's an anime I saw clips of on TikTok. The skinny guy takes off his track suit and becomes Mr. Olympia bodybuilder. And I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> he shouts, sh side chest <laughs> I don't know which one that would be, Will. I, I don't know. Anyone else know? Got a jet. You headed out, Mikey. Have a good one. Thanks so much for hanging out. We'll catch you next time. Bye bye for now. Can't wait for Dune 2. I think I saw a couple of you talking about that. I am also excited for Dune 2. I guess I should look. Was that like announced? Are there new details for that? I'm terrible when it comes to movie things. I am chronically behind. <laughs> oh, I also thought Exalted was calling out Will. <laughs> okay, apparently the anime is called <laughs> How Heavy Are the Dumbbells That You Lift? <laughs> I also thought you were just asking. <laughs> oh, anime titles. <laughs> yeah, it should be called You Even Lift. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Oh, March 1st, less than a month. Holy cow. That's my tattoo day. Hooray. That's a, that's an exciting day. Many things happening. Anime titles, fantastic. <laughs> Exalted throwing shade, disguising it as anime titles, right? <laughs> it's a... Mashley? That's the, like, essentially Harry Potter with muscles. You can also look at that. That was a little too out there for me. We watched, I think, an episode or two. That's also going on right now. Let's see. White helmet, white helmet, white helmet. You all got your highlights from last night. You're the ones I still need. Isn't it day one HBO? Oh, is it? I didn't know after the first one. Are you sure? These are just anime girls with gym clothes. <laughs> you just, you have to, you have to keep watching to find out, Will. Yeah, you have to keep watching. Getting tattooed in the theater. Not sure the other guests will appreciate it. I mean, they're not having to do it. 
It's not. I think getting tattooed in the theater would be the time I absolutely fall asleep, though. Yeah. If you put me in a dark room while being tattooed, I will absolutely fall asleep. <laughs> Uh, let's do things. The henchman is the trainer. The girl has a crush on. Ah, okay. 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 Harry Potter and Star Wars AI Balenciaga lifting face. That was a sentence I didn't think I'd read today. <laughs> uh, oh, you read the manga. Okay. You're all set then. You're ahead of me. When's the next season of Bleach? Uh, I think it's soon. I don't remember exactly. I'm 90% sure you dozed off last. I might have. <laughs> I might have. Shenron, I was very close to. Uh, Vegeta was tougher because my neck hurt. So I don't know if I actually would have, but. Yeah, that hurt way worse than the tattoo. I might have, though. Not an ounce other than 24. Okay. I didn't know if they had a specific season they had put it for. It teaches a lot about exercise in general. That's cool. I kind of like, since we're doing the like sign language anime, we get to pick up some of that as we, as we watch. Am I cute? Trying to keep an eye on Twitch, on TikTok chat too. Uh, if anyone's over on TikTok, we are working on some Imperial Fists today. We had the Repulsor tank, but now we're working on some Stern Guard. Uh, the chat that I am reading mostly is over on Twitch, so if you'd like to come join us, the link is in my bio. But we will be streaming here on TikTok more. Giving it another, another try here now that I found an easier way to do it. So thank you everyone for coming to check it out today. I also have my YouTube channel, so if you want to go back and watch the bots, check out tutorials, all that good stuff, that's also in my link. Otherwise, I'm going to keep batch painting these guys and try and get them finished up here. I like them finished by the end of the week, which seems pretty, uh, that shouldn't be too bad at all. Kind of down to details and then basing. Oh, the anime chat gonna catch up on Dungeon Mesh? Yes. I've heard it's good. I think I need to start it. I may wait till it's kind of... Like, be able to binge it all at once. But I've heard it's very good. JPEG, hello. How are you? <laughs> I mean, immediately with the fine emo. How we doing? We are working on Imperial Fist today. I'm not sure what we'll have tomorrow. I'm honest. Maybe Kingdom Death and maybe Warhammer. It will be miniatures of some sort. If you'd like to join us for tomorrow, make sure you hit the follow. My ADHD brain, uh-oh, is all over the place again. Well, I hope everything's okay. Hope, uh, whatever you need to get done, we get done. It's a good watch, pretty fun. Lots of deadpan face shots. Excellent. You sold me. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard it's good. I may wait till the end and then we'll watch it all. <laughs> oh, he says, Dad, get it. Not even five minutes in. Gratuitous shower steam shot. Got him. <laughs> oh, no. Exalted out here trolling. <laughs> Uh, poor Will. Poor Will. <laughs> uh, JFix says, oh, it's about vacation. So it's a fun subject, but annoying to stress about. Vacations are, are they're stressful to plan, especially if it's like somewhere you've never been, maybe somewhere it's a different language. It's, uh, it is stressful. 
because you don't know what you're going to run into. But yeah, hopefully you can get everything worked out. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Dear friend, why must anime be so full of lewd <laughs> It's just, it's just part of it. Yep, it's just part of it. <laughs> I did say it's twofold. He did. Exalted did. I didn't take it that way, but he did say that. I misunderstood, and apparently Will misunderstood, but he did say it. <laughs> Don't trust Exalted with animes. I recommend only the peak of wholesome slice of life, not the degenerate stuff. My goodness. I'll take both, chat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And did I omit the lewd parts? My bad. <laughs> Salt coming in with the, uh, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I want degenerate slice of life. That's right. I don't watch a lot of slice of life. I get a little bored. But... <laughs> You throw a little spice on it. I would say I'm very picky with my, my slice of life. How come the steam from my shower never conveniently covers bits? Has anime lied to me? It would never. Anime would never. No. I'm putting back on the blind girl anime. No, that, one, that one's safe, Well, That one's actually pretty adorable. That one is safe. Or the, the sign language one. Sorry. Not blind. Deaf. Hand holding, that's right. That's right. We're here for some hand holding. <laughs> I left the show on in the intro. It's a freaking. Um, holy moly, the intro is freaking slapping. What is this? Oh, we're on a we're on a roller coaster with this here. Will he, here's the question, chat. Will he stick out the Ludba for the banger intro and the, uh, the muscles? I feel like we should take a poll. How many episodes does Will watch? <laughs> the intro is legit. <laughs> Will Will stick out the Ludba for muscles? Okay, I gotta, I gotta kill the announcement. It's so long. <laughs> but if anyone has any questions, let me know. Or just make it come up like once an hour, maybe. I feel like that's maybe better. All right. Helmet's already... One more. FYI, I never fully watched it. <laughs> They're singing exercises, but it's so good. So who knows what Ludba awaits then? Those, those exalted. I don't know, I'm already feeling yucky. <laughs> but they're singing exercises. I feel like we should go back to that. The fact that they're singing exercises. Sorry. <laughs> Will it be the return of Ab's Daddy Will? I think so. I think we're watching it happen in real time. Alright, I'll have to touch up his helmet because I still somehow got fuzz on my brush. About to just banish Sadie from this room. Forever! Nikki, you gotta listen to her. Okay, I'll, I will have to stream. You wanna put it in the Discord? I'll listen to it. I do love me a good anime intro. I'm still tempted to reach out to Broso and see if he wants to do an anime intro for me. <laughs> I do love me an anime intro. You came back to chat after a meeting to see Ab's Daddy Will making a comeback. You've come back just in time, Slow Paint Pot. Welcome back. Welcome back.
It's like injecting dopamine into my ears. It's so peppy. Highly recommend Broso. Broso does some cool stuff. I'm in a Broso song. Pretty sick. It's like the happiest song I've heard in years. I don't know the inserting. Yeah, so she been goshi into the tube. <laughs> If I can, if I can figure out this animation thing, I might have to, have to collaborate on something. I have to get all the tropes in there. Bread hanging out of my mouth. Running to go paint or play a game. Powering up. <laughs> All right, helmets. Good. Done. Off the list. We did it. We did it. I haven't seen Yuri on Ice, but I've listened to the intro so many times. Yuri on Ice is also cute. I liked Yuri on Ice. All right, what do we want to do next, chat? Did we finish edge highlighting? Uh, I feel like that's the answer. I don't want to. <laughs> Just going to whine about it instead. In for a surprise tonight. What? Chat, if you want to see the surprise, make sure you go follow Scott. He has his racing sim stream tonight. Go watch him zoom zoom. All right, I'm just going to go back for any touch-ups, any edge highlight. Looks like there's a couple that I still need to do edge highlights on. And the rest are just touch-ups. Thought I had more here. Okay. Who's left? You're left. Scott will be streaming nothing but Azure Lane for 24 hours, confirmed. <laughs> oh my god, there's a Eurobeat remix? You just said the magic words. I love me some Eurobeat. It's so much fun. Anyone not watching is banned from this stream permanently? That's right. <laughs> I will literally cry. <laughs> Send you both? Okay. Or if you want to throw out in the Discord, either way. Some more people. And here are the Eurobeat. Will. <laughs> poor, poor Will. I'm excited though. Well, cool. What does everyone have going on for the rest of today? You know, other than the required viewing of Scott's stream. Other than that, what do you have going on today, chat? I'm going to finish these guys up for now. I've got my workout. And I've got to start tax stuff. I don't want to. <laughs> A lot of stuff I just don't want to do today, chat. It's just, it's very Monday. I did try to explain the whole guns as tanks, guns, ships to a person I visited Japan with that didn't quite get it the first time. <laughs> you just you just have to show them. That's that's the way you do it. Yep. You just have to show your battleship. They definitely didn't believe the amount of money it makes. So much money. So much money. It is ridiculous how much money.
Losing steam. VTuber racing sim girl stuff? Only one way to find out. That's by tuning in. Twitch.tv slash AV6 Scott. <laughs> Walk done. Not feeling today. Good job, Sam. Proud of you. Getting it in. It's, it's tough when you're not feeling it. It's in the Discord. Come and get your dopamine. I'm going to watch it here while I eat my lunch. Listen to it, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder how much money the Ludo mobile games and shows have taken from strip clubs. I get every part of this. Probably none. Probably a completely different demographic. If I had to guess. I wouldn't think any. Learn to put stuff away sounds good. I am, uh, I am attempting to make it to the end of stream here. I am losing so much steam, though. <laughs> Ooh. The batch painting, you can watch it just sucking the energy out of me. <laughs> It's only four minutes till half past. Yeah, but I'm supposed to go at the top of the hour. Yeah. We'll still keep going. Everyone knows a round number is a good time to stop things. That's... Yeah, you are right. Let me do a bit more edge until I just, you know, absolutely can't stand it for now. And then I'll wrap up. Because that's the healthy way to do it, right? Zero is round, confirmed. Confirmed. Thank you both. Multiples of five, always a good one, yep. I'm gonna end at just a weird time now. Thank you. <laughs> at uh twelve forty seven. Wrap it up. <laughs> Force yourself into burnout like a professional. <laughs> well, I'm really good at it. Just saying. I am, I am indeed a professional at burning myself out. People that don't understand this concept bother you. <laughs> kind of like the, the volume for a car, right? Everyone has that, that thing they do. Whether it's like an even number or... Yeah, the multiples. I feel like it's the same thing. TV volume, yeah, same, same bucket there. I think I think he's watching me stream well. <laughs> oh, he's replying that he's not watching the stream. Wow. Can't believe it. A shout out a Zoom Zoom stream. He's not even watching. <laughs> Kidding. Oh, if I come back to Discord and it's all Eurobeat, I'm gonna be so happy. Initial D intensifies. No, well I do both, so <laughs> I'm just teasing. I just like to give Scott a hard time. Let's do a massive challenge about painting a box. <laughs> People wanted to do it. And we did it. Will we ever do it again? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, promo tut tut, sir. Oh, I do need to bring that one over. That's a good shot, too. Okay, gold. And promo. I need to go find. This slime won't let me troll you. Because <laughs> Ultra Daddy likes it that way. <laughs> oh. But I see you're trying to tell me they're not supposed to be white. Because, uh, have fun painting them yellow. <laughs> you, you can have fun with that later.
<laughs> Gorilla Mang Roboto. Yep. Yep. They look good. I just don't want to batch paint. That's all. But that's okay, because they're not too far off. We need to finish the cloth. A few of them have cables, or like weapons. A few of them have skulls, like on their knees. And then we will base them up with some of the dreadnoughts and stuff. So. That'll be cool. Did I hear you say next week? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember what I said. I didn't say it if I did. I said this week I'm trying to finish the vehicles and these guys. Um, we're not too far off, though. In the trash, yes. Next week they go into the trash. We finish them and they go straight in. I don't want to say finish next week, but we'll be in a good spot next week for sure. I don't want to say like done, done. It'd be close. Basic. Sorry. Whenever I give time estimates like that, it also has to go to decals with Scott. So I don't know what Scott's schedule looks like. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Red getting smashed has sucked the hobby out of me. Or the vacuum space. Were you able to get them back together? I know you and Blonde Cow are talking, but... I'm sorry. I feel like maybe we just don't do exchanges for a little bit. Maybe we keep all the hobby right there next to you. But I, I completely understand. I'm sorry that it happened. Gotta go to the decal department, exactly. Exactly. So when I give estimates, that is for my painting. I know that decals take some time, too. <laughs> Can we get sculpted shoulders for the next wave? <laughs> uh, I fixed his broken parts, trying to bend the plastic. I broke more of him. I'm sorry. Um, if you need any help, make sure you let Scott or I know. We can get him. Let us know if we can help. Some will be molded, probably, maybe. If he wasn't doing this for a job and roping me into it at that time, wow. Wow. Real feelings coming out in the chat. Just getting roped into things. <laughs> for better or worse, sickness and in decals, that's right. Didn't read the, uh, the certificate close enough? Let that be a lesson. And it was a secret way to get your hobby mojo back. It does sound like a trap. <laughs> but I'm still curious. Jampic, what do you got for us? I'm still curious. Who is the Necron going to? Uh, Red? Red's going to Blonde Cow. Sounds like they are getting some of that worked out. I think that is the nice part is like our community is very understanding too so like if something does arrive broken we one we can all fix it which is nice but we understand that things happen i'm glad we can get him fixed up get him back home 
USPS better get to build and paint. That's right. We need to get in on this mini exchange. They're gonna break ours. They need to enter their own. Get a kingdom death pinup. You'll be painting some decent clothes on her him or her in no time. Did almost buy the stonebreaker guy to try and paint muscles. He's a cool one. I've got him primed for at some point. He's pretty neat. That was right, though. The plastic snapped off parts went back on pretty easily, but the bent stuff, yeah. The nice part is if it's at a glue point, it's pretty easy. So I actually have um, Scorch Panda sent me some Ultramarines that we're going to do for March for McCraig. And some of those have parts that have popped off, but they're at the glue point. So they're not too bad. I just got to get them back together. The bent parts will be a little trickier, yeah. His staff looks like a pool noodle. No, I'm sorry. You should have sipped in a tiny pelican case, the little lunchbox sign. Tiny little Imperial Fist lunchbox. <laughs> Those paintings, I don't think the warm water trick would work very well to soften the plastic, unfortunately. I mean, I think it would still work, right? You just probably have to do paint touch-ups. Show off your new figures. Oh! You guys want to see the anime repaint that came in? Um, it was through Throne. I think Slam and Navian chipped in toward it. If they're here in the chat. That Dread Knight? Yeah, it spins well. <laughs> It spins. It is as big as me. Yeah, that's Scott's baby. We, uh, I don't think either of us realized how big a Dread Knight is. So Scott got the Dread Knight from Joy Toy. And that thing is massive. We actually, on Twitter, I put a picture up of it next to the Warlord. And it's almost as big as the Warlord. It is gigantic. It's sitting in our game room now. <laughs> it's huge. And someone says, everyone can do March on my Craig. You get based, you get based, everyone gets based. Ooh. Actually, it's the death leap I got from the exchange in the game on Saturday. He was a trooper, baiting foes into open positions. Talking about March. What will the March challenge be? Okay, you know me. I like to start on time. Sure, JPEG. Sure you do. Uh, it's still a little early. I think we might take March as a freebie month. So whatever you want to work on. So it'll still be like a before and after. But because there's so much um, with Adepticon and everything, I might just do a freebie. Ah. I like that's here, chat. I got the all. Oh. I want to unbox it or leave it for YouTube. Let's open it. I want to open it. I got, so Bandai has these kits that are Dragon Ball, but they build like a Gunpla. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to build it and paint it like fully. Let's open it. I had to, what I've learned with the figures is like, if you want something, grab it immediately or they'll be gone. Because <laughs> there's a few I went back as like, okay, well now that I know how this works, there's a couple figures I want. No, they're all gone. They're, they're gone. So that's what I've learned. I got to play with the space dolls. I want some space dolls. I have your space dolls. Hold on, Alive Madness. I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, my Gullyman from Joy Toys is as big as the Chaos Knight Vibel sent me, but he's insane. I want to see the Joy Toy, the Knights, the big Imperial Knights. They're going to be crazy. Once I finish these Stern Guard, I think my next project will be a Phobos Kill Pete. That'll be fun. You want some big space dolls. Oh, okay. That's fair. <laughs> I say I'm within the knights will be as tall as the warlord. I think so. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So for those who haven't built Gunpla. 
Look, we get fun colored plastic. Look at all this. Look at all this. Also fun because we get a little bit of a uh, little bit of body horror <laughs> with all the different pieces. <laughs> cool. We'll mess with this later. Wait a second. Oh, okay. It's really loud. Project for another day. They have acrylic rods to support the back of the carapace. Oh, it's gonna be a big boy. It's gonna be a big boy. The warlord, holy crap! <laughs> it's, it's big. It's a big dread knight. Oh, I got six more minutes. Just to annoy Slam. <laughs> Do one more deed. Joy Toy Warhound win. Could you imagine? That would be the size of me. Like, actual size of me. <laughs> Damn it, I try to troll Slam. Light Madness is here trolling me. It's a mix of trolling. Got some new Gundam tools on the way to get back to my building my gun plus. What'd you pick up, Raven Lair? What Gundam tools did we get? Am I okay? I'm tired of batch painting, paint it so that's what's happening. <laughs> I am out of steam. I just I don't want to keep going. But we're gonna keep going. It's my kryptonite. Yep. Try to show chat my new my new thing, but they like no, just the Warhams plus on our back bash painting. <laughs> These anime recharger like Superman in the sun. Yeah, yeah. I need uh, I need some more Yakuza time. I need to start my next repaint. Then I can batch paint again. We're on limited battery. <laughs> We're getting there though. Once the squad's together, we're kind of down to last details. We got a couple characters. I'm basing, so. This is kind of the last hurdle for this round. It's nice. I don't want to be at my job either. <laughs> I can be straight with you. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, my clients get it. Sometimes I just complain about work, just like everyone. Batch painting is definitely the work for me. Uh, the characters and stuff are really fun. This is the part that's hard for me. It's just painting the same dude 50 billion times. Not the most fun. Picked up some stuff from Gun Primer. Got their num file and a kit that helps bring back the surface finish on the plastic. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I even knew that was a thing. Saw a clip of an almost naked man covered in oil attacking through you on Twitter. And I think I've done it today. That's, yeah, that sums up Yakuza pretty well. That sounds about right. <laughs> oh, Will. Will, when we get you a computer. It's so fun. It's the best. Are those the weird oh, glass files? Yeah, I've not heard of these at all. I have to look them up here after stream. You'll have to let us know what you think, Raven Lord, when you get them and get to try them. Listen to Nikki and Cake. They're the most qualified in this chat to explain Yakuza. It's just, I don't even want to explain it, honestly. Like, I went in pretty blind. I think, I think I figured out what it was, bro. So, because I thought I was watching you play it. I think I watched Kuzidan play one of them. Is what made me download and try it. But yeah, the story's amazing. The character's amazing. I'm bad. I think the new ones are better. But everything is so good. So much fun. Yeah, I don't even like want to explain it, honestly. You just need to go in and have fun. He played Zero. Yeah, I think that's what I was like. Okay, I'll try that because I saw it on Game Pass. And now I've played 
I've played every game but six. I watched a, a Let's Play, like, summary of that one. Because I wanted to hop into the new ones. They're so good. It's like the one series I think I can just flat out recommend. Hey, we giant collection box at my local store for the PS4, and I've been so really tempted. Start with zero and uh, play on through. I will say five and six were a little much for me. Uh, they found out that they could do like character swapping, and that became a little crazy for me. I, I didn't enjoy that quite as much, but those early ones, especially with the Kiwami remakes, are very good. The new ones are very good. It's a, it's a fun series to get stuck into, yeah. Can recommend. There's one thing I can say. <clears throat> absolute certainty, my 39 years. Starting to play Yakuza 0 is an excellent decision. It's so good. <laughs> so good. I'm to work with Perth for the entire last month. Why do I do these each week? It's a wonder to everybody, including me. We're, we're not going to learn the lesson, are we? You're going to be here next month saying the same, aren't you? <laughs> I have things like that. I understand. Would it be easier? Yes. Are you going to do it? No. <laughs> But yeah, if anyone's thinking about picking up your episode, start with zero and enjoy. And that's all I'll say. I think it's more fun to experience as you go. And then the new ones are very good. I don't think Will could handle playing Yakuza. <laughs> there may be some, some tricky parts for him to navigate, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> My only saving grace is the two of the project managers above me usually fill in theirs on the 10th when they finish it up for the whole team. All right, chat. I can't do it anymore. I'm done. <laughs> done batch painting. I made it to almost the time, and I want food, so we're going to go do that. But... We got Stern Guard. And we got... Oh, Tank is still flipped over. But we got the Repulsor. You better talk for two minutes. Nope, I'm doing it right now. Just to be annoying. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> All right. We will be back tomorrow. I don't know what we'll have, though. Part of me wants to work on Kingdom Death. Part of me wants to keep uh, working on my Seraphon. So I think it's going to be either Kingdom Death or Seraphon tomorrow. But if you want to come hang out, make sure you follow here or over on TikTok. We will do the live on TikTok again, too, because that, was, uh, that wasn't that was too bad to set up. Hey, Anime Tokyo, sorry I missed you. How are you today? But yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, if you're on the Twitch chat, my links are all in the chat. So we've got Discord, YouTube, uh, all of my socials are there if you want to check that out. Hang tight. I need to figure out how to close down the TikTok stuff, and then I will raid over to someone. So uh, thank you so much, everyone, for coming and spend part of your Monday with us, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.